the hood. The hood. This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And it's Military Crazy Raw Drink Champs Happy Hour. Make, Make some noise! <laughs> and when I tell you, when me and E F N started this show, we wanted to uh, interview our peers. We wanted to interview fellow legends, fellow icons. When I tell you, I seen this man come up in the game, you know, from the beginning to where he's at now. He is always he's, his his team has been tight like virgin pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what nothing could break them. Nothing could break them. I swear to God, from the very day ones that I've seen him come in the game, he's with the same exact people. When you speak about loyalty, they picture comes up. When you speak about this guy as a character, this guy as a MC, this guy as an actor, this guy as a producer, this guy as everything, he's a Renaissance man. He's a fellow Virgo. I believe he's married too, like me. <laughs> and we love hard, and we go on the Maldives. People was like, y'all got the best vacation pictures ever. But this guy is, a, is an icon. He's a legend. He's a lyrical. He could go lyrically. I, we went through his discography, and we realized that he can go lyrically with anybody. Anybody, toe to toe. And, right. he, might, and he might put on a big Air Force One right. when, when he go toe to toe. He is the man. He is my friend. He is a legend, an icon, a motherfucking tycoon. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, we're talking about the one and only impeccable Chris Lover Lover. Hey. Luda Chris, make the hey. And I have you know, Luda, um, I just want you to know I haven't drank in 20 days. Oh, I've been in the shit. gym every day trying to get my shit on, but when we locked you in, I said, <laughs> said I am breaking my fast for my motherfucking hey. Luda. Yo, Luda, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I am really, really, really proud of you because in, in, in certain ways, I kind of like feel like we traded careers, like mm. kind of like like you kind of like started out like kind of like with media, even though you had music way before that, right? And then you you, you transition and as opposed to be where it's like kind of like an artist, and now I'm having fun doing the media. But a lot of people, that's where they start your career, right? They start um, at, at the radio station. But a lot of people don't know you have records and you had things way before that. Is oh, that for sure? Okay, put it on. I started rapping when I was nine years old. Damn. Yeah, hundred percent. My first record was called, well, not record. My first song was called "I'm Cool, I'm Bad, I Might Be 10, Wow. But I can't survive without my girlfriend. <laughs> wow. And so, you was know, nine. And I was nine, so you know I had to put the extra sauce on. Let's make some noise for your yeah, exaggeration. Yeah, exactly. right. At nine years old, he was already. Jamie, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Limits, limits, limits. So okay. I had to. Oh, you you gonna get fucked yes, up? Yes, by yes, the way, yes, you know, yes, if you yes, ain't yes, drinking yes, twenty yes, days. Yes, 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 twenty days. You yes. about to get fucked and up. I just came from the Maldives. I'm sorry. Go ahead, continue. As you should. Yeah. But no, nah, like like I said, I started rap when I was nine. So yeah, I, I went through a good 10, 10 12 years of mm -hmm. doing so many different, mm -hmm. you know, crazy contracts and, and being in groups and mm -hmm. going in and out of just developing my style. And so, mm -hmm. you know, when I got to the radio station, like mm -hmm. you say, mm -hmm. this was when I was 18 years old. Wow. And so this is right when rap radio stations mm -hmm. were kind of starting where mm -hmm. 24 hours you playing nothing but rap music because before commercial that, radio or college radio commercial radio yeah. okay. so it's now yeah. uh, 107.9 in Atlanta at the time it was called Hot 97.5 mm. and so at this time I literally got a job up there as, as an intern mm. right. and so I was just trying to get put on so it was yeah. strategic because I was like you got all these producers you got all these artists right. coming through to a radio station each right. and every fucking day right. Right. so right. I'm gonna go up here and make these people think that I want a job at this radio station but the real hustle right. is that whoever come up here I'm right. about to give them my music I'm about to rap for right. them and it's gonna work right. now keep in mind it took 
I'd say about a good three or four years before it actually, you know, the plan worked. Are you meaning you at the radio station three or four years? Being okay. there before okay. the whole ludicrous came mm -hmm. into play mm -hmm. because I was there as an air personality. I was hosting mm -hmm. the clubs. Yeah. I was a local celebrity way before mm -hmm. commercially successful as ludicrous. But yeah, mm -hmm. that's how it all started, man. Right. At that radio station, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to be honest, man. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever said this. And you're gonna be you're gonna be happy. You're gonna be happy. We're about to get some shit that Nori ain't never <laughs> said out no, of eight years. No, no, I'm, gonna drink right no, now. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Shit. It was at one point <laughs> where if you had a number one record in New York, you had a number one record around the world. Right. And I'm proud to kinda say, not kinda, I'm proud to say that right now, if you have a number one record in Atlanta, <laughs> <laughs> fuck y'all, man. <laughs> but, but it's true though. And it's been yeah. like that for a while. No, but by, a the while. Way, it's, yeah. by the way, my New York is recognizing it right now. I'm just being right. honest. Because we didn't want to let it go. But I see it now. Like if you it brings me to two chains, right? Because I remember I remember Two Chains being down with you guys. Absolutely, and his name wasn't Two Chains. Tit. Uh, it was Tit Titty Boy. Okay, it's my first drink in twenty days. God damn it, let's go. But, oh, we got um, toast this year. But, um, but I remember, I remember <laughs> it, 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 him being known in like just that section. Like, and it's just like I, I remember, I remember. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but I remember me speaking with Bum B and me almost saying to them like, "Damn, y'all could actually go gold in just Texas, right? Yeah. Like just Texas." And I remember saying that about Atlanta because y'all had local heroes. Like I, I, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place, but I remember it's okay, Pastor it's Troy. Okay. You about to have your first drink? I remember drink. Pastor Go. Troy, and I remember how huge Pastor Troy was. Right? Still, you was hyped still, off Pastor Troy. Still I, love Pastor I remember Troy. you I came to Miami Troy. after meeting him, yes. and you was hyped. And, and I was going to New though. York, and I would be like, "We ran it." Yeah. And people were looking at me like, "What the fuck is you talking about, man?" And I would go just just to New Orleans, and I'd be like, "We ran it," and people didn't know So that's when I knew Atlanta had the chance to kind of like. Dominate the whole business because y'all had stars that was just in Atlanta. Yep. And so how 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 how, how was that seeing that? Because it was almost like I don't want to say the back of the bus. Like it was like kind of like y'all went from there to and, and and I felt like I'm sorry. I felt like it's Andre 3000 that jinxed the world. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Jinxed the world. I mean, he, was, he, he told us the South got something to say. Oh, gotcha. You talking about the New York? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But, yeah. But because I, I, I again, I'm sorry, I'm so all over the place. But I remember coming to Atlanta. Hey man, stop apologizing. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is your. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. I shit. remember going to Atlanta. This is, this is sober fast story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm trying to hurry up. Drink it. I don't give a fuck. But, 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 but I remember <laughs> going shit. to Atlanta as a New York artist, and New York was running. And I remember saying, "Yo, is Atlanta in the house?" And they not saying nothing. And me saying, "Yo, is Brooklyn in the house?" And they were just. They were erupt, and I knew these people wasn't from Brooklyn, but they right. didn't have no identity back then. But like, I, I, this, that's, that's my story. But how does it feel from seeing like your city go from to, to where it's at now? Absolutely fucking amazing. Right. I feel like we've had the game in a chokehold for quite yeah. some time, mm -hmm. like you say. I mean, you know, we mm -hmm. can we could we could debate about how long it's been, but right. just. Ooh. It's, it amazes me since I started because I come from the, like you said, the, the goody mobs mm -hmm. and the outcasts. They paved the way for me. Right. So after all this time, in retrospect, you know, seeing what has happened over all that time and just Atlanta artists working together and it's, right. it's the camaraderie right. and everybody just becoming a, a powerhouse when, when you do these records together and you see that they continue to climb these charts uh, all this time later, man, it feels fucking amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And it's like, I don't feel like it's going anywhere. Yeah, I ain't gonna I don't feel like that, it's going that, anywhere. That, that's what it always seemed like. And it might be different being from the city, but from the outside looking in, it, it looked like Atlanta always had it together. Like the artists it always does. worked together. Didn't matter if they, yeah. they didn't sound the same, different kind of genres within the the, the, the genre. They all worked together. They all were repping for the city. That's Southern hospitality, yeah. as we and, say. And that's that's why I, I had a hater moment at one point. Um that was like I, I was kind of glad when you and Ti was beefing for like two weeks because <laughs> <For> two weeks <laughs> you were like you were I was happy like, that they had a, at least they human <laughs> you know what I mean like the, the South didn't seem human at one point it seemed like all of y'all beefs if y'all had stripes or whatever y'all kept it in between each other and New York we we couldn't do that. No, I mean it's, it was it was out, outer and you know what I'm saying like it was yeah, but all we didn't over the see place. it though like y'all didn't see it. Nah, there was, yeah, a, lot, there was a lot of beefs. That was a lot. I, I say with Pimp Pimp C. I didn't see like like the the Atlanta on Atlanta. Well, that's a good thing then. Fuck it. If okay. you're saying from your perspective you didn't see it like that, right. then that's good. So let's make some noise for like Atlanta minor they been. Yeah, we, like <laughs> <laughs> we like to keep the reputation right. of, of keeping it, you know, together. Right. The togetherness right. and that right. southern hospitality for sure. So what actually happened with you and T.I. at that time? 
it was a from my perspective, it was always always a little subliminals, and I just heard subliminals, and I'm extremely competitive, so I'm always with the subliminals. So when you know when he would jab, I would just jab right back in records. Did this happen to the light skin karate class? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no, not. Absolutely not. No, I'm just no light skin karate <laughs> class, but no, nah, just just competition, man. And uh-huh. you know, it's crazy because uh-huh. again, in retrospect. We we were actually on a flight together on a plane. We went to uh, George Floyd's uh, oh, funeral mm-hmm. services God together. Bless. God, God bless. bless. Um, Will Packer put a bunch of people together mm-hmm. on this plane, and so we literally were on there talking for two, three hours of right. everything, the whole history. Mm-hmm. And you know, I just told him to his face, it was like, brother, I never start any fucking thing." Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I I come from a world where I mind my own fucking business. This is mm-hmm. what Ludacris does. Right. right. I hear people talk stuff, and people mm-hmm. take jabs, and t- mm-hmm. people take shots. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I decide whether or not I want to send the shots back. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I just, I don't start shit. Mm-hmm. I finish shit. Right. That's what I do. <laughs> right, right, right. So we on this plane, man, talking mm-hmm. about the history of all the shit that we've been through. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and it's like, we sat back and laughed at the end of that yeah. shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And that's what maturity and that's what growth be, right? is all about. But we right. gave the people what they wanted for a certain amount of time. And that's what hip hop is. It starts right. from competition and right. we just going to, we going to give you that. Right. You know what I'm saying? God damn, make some noise for that. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um. So I, 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 we going through your discography, bro. Um. The discography. Yeah, we going through it, bro. It's I ain't gonna lie to you. We got some records here. We know we <laughs> seen you do verses with with Nelly. Yeah. But y'all wasn't in the same room, correct? We were not. We. I think we were the first rappers to do verses, right. if I'm not mistaken. And this right. was at a time where. The everybody was still at home, like the nobody was leaving. Versus, this right. was quarantine, so this is before people got on the stages and was doing the whole performance and right. shit. Niggas was at the crib. I'm gonna be honest with you. I looked at your face when you walked up, and I knew you was gonna win. <laughs> I just like you had the eye of the fucking. T- I don't know what you was doing push ups before that. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you, I looked at you. I was like. Luda's he said in push-ups zone. before. No, you know how you know how you in the zone. Like I, I looked. You, was it because you was bored? Let, let me tell you something. Okay. We're just starting this fucking interview. If, okay. there's, if there's gonna be a common theme to this interview, <laughs> yes. com- com- competitive yes. as fuck. Yes, like, yes. I, I love competition. <laughs> yes, yes. This is what we do this shit for. <laughs> yes, yes, so yes. that's what you saw on my face. Like right. subtleness, just ready to fucking go. Let's Cause, go. Because you know what you look like. You look like the fighter, right? That's about to fight his brother that don't want to hurt his brother. That's that's what any opponent, by the way. <laughs> okay. That's why I okay. say I don't start shit, right. I finish right. shit. Right. That's right. That's the other theme of this mm-hmm. interview. Mm-hmm. But go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt you, my brother. I know you no, can no, take no, your no, first no. I was so because I was looking, and I know you personally. Yeah. And I know Nelly personally, right? So yeah, yeah. I know both of you brothers, and I'm looking, and I'm, you know, as everyone else, we were all bored in the crib, and I'm just like this. But I knew how I seen your face. I knew how serious you took it. And I seen Nelly, that's my that's my brother too. Too. Let me just um, big him up. Nah, but I seen him. I seen him kind of like you know. Not I don't. I don't want to say not taking it serious, but just like you know, I'm, I'm here. He and I seen with your it. face. You had the face on you got right now. <laughs> you, were like, you you were zoned in. You were looking at your DJ, and I just knew it. As, and and, and is that that goes back to the competition thing? It does not matter, bro. Right. I love this shit, bro. Mm-hmm. I live for this shit. Mm-hmm. I apologize for movies getting in the way of the music right. people, but God right. damn it, I'm coming. I, I love this shit. I right. just love it. Right. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? I, mm-hmm. I made a living off of it. My right. kids are straight off of it. Mm-hmm. Every, my whole team. Mm-hmm. We feed a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And that's why we take it so serious. I just love it. I love it. That's that face, man. That's right. that game face. Yeah, and, yeah. and <laughs> how happy are you that Ja Rule turned down that job? <laughs> Man, I didn't believe it at first when I heard that rumor. And, I can't hear, uh, what is the rumor? Tell us what, what, what is your part you heard. I don't want to speak for Ja, but it was okay. definitely something in in the realm of John Singleton went to him first for that role in, oh, two, in two Fast, Two Furious because mm-hmm. he was in the first Fast and Furious. Right. And for whatever reason, that deal didn't work out. So I don't, I don't know the specifics. And so that deal not working out, has had Ludacris in two, mm. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. God damn. Let me take a sip of my motherfucking drink for that. God damn. Hey, man, cheers. For two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and still fucking going. Hey, another, another rumor that I heard, tell me if this is true or not, that you, contractually doing the movies, you weren't allowed to put out music. Like full no, length albums. No, 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 that's no. Not tr- Contractually, I wasn't, I wasn't able to ride my motorcycles. They got that shit oh, okay, in the contract. Okay. While we're shooting, you cannot ride. A, I'm a motorcycle junkie. I'm an wow. adrenaline junkie, by the way. We'll get onto that. Mm-hmm. But no, nah, nowhere did they say we couldn't put music. out music. Okay, okay. I actually put out 
I want to say a, a small project on, on the release of the, one of the movies or some shit like that. Right. Right. But no, I'm just saying it does take a lot of time. And I'm the type of person that I'm going to put 100% into right. whatever the fuck I'm doing at the time. Right. So I'm not the nigga that's going to be half-assing an album and music and shooting a role in a right. movie at the same time. So it's like my management and my team, they love me for that, but they always hate, right. they hate me for that right. shit at yeah. the same time. I'm just full throttle with it. So right. that's so what was that get. your first acting gig? My first acting gig was was Crash, the shit that won Crash. a goddamn yeah, Academy yeah, Award. Yeah, that yeah. Um, that's and John Leguizamo, right? No? No, no, no. no, not no, no, no. Wait, um, 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 Don Cheetah. Don Cheetah okay. was in there. Sandra yeah. Bullock, Brendan Fraser, my brother Lorenz Tate was in there. Uh, Terrence Howard movie. was in that motherfucker. Movie. Yeah, that shit won won yeah. the Academy Award. I love how people just start dropping names when they're in a good movie. I've never <laughs> been in a good movie where I can drop niggas' names. Nigga, you in a classic. Stop playing. You are in a classic. Yeah, but I don't know their real names. Water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, um, Water. But tell but, them about your zombie movie. Your oh, movie. no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, um, so that was hey, your man, first you gotta, movie You got to say the fucking classic that you in, though. Come on, man. What's the classic movie you in? But your first movie you was in is Crash. That's the first movie? I had a, uh, I had a small part in the wash. That was like a, in the wash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with, the, with Snoop and Dr. Right. Dre and shit. That was like a cameo. But right. the first movie, movie Crash. Then Too Fast, Too Furious. Then Hustle and Flow. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Hustle and Flow, John Singleton and uh, Craig Brewer. Right. And man, it was just, I mean, I remember Skinny going Black. to... Skinny Black. Skinny Black. Hell yeah. Is that your favorite role you ever played? Nah, the, the, the role in Crash is the favorite role I've ever played, to be completely honest with you. Okay. And it's, uh, but the, the Hustle and Flow shit, I remember John Singleton coming to me saying he wanted me to play a rapper in a movie. I was like, man, I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to play a fucking rapper. I'm mm -hmm. a rapper. I'm like, mm -hmm. if I'm going to do these roles, I want to do something outside of the realm right. of my own personality. And then he sat me down and he was like, well, you know, this isn't your personality. This is kind of a little bit outside of it. And then I was like, he convinced me to do it. And and the rest is history. And and, and rest in peace to John Singleton because he's the one who put me, like rest we said, in Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh. He took uh, Ice Cube and, you know, he put him in in uh, Boys, Boys in the, in the Hood. hood. Yep. He's, he's taking Tyrese and put him in Baby Boy. Uh. So he takes people from the music world, notices a talent in yeah. them, and then literally puts them in movies. Next thing you know, catapult them to a whole other Iconic level of their movies lives. Iconic too. Iconic. So yeah. may he rest in peace, man. I'm forever grateful, forever thankful, forever thankful. He, he lived down the block from me before he passed away. I used to hang out with him all the time, and I and I told him, um, can you put me a snowfall? And he said, never. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck he but, say that? Because he said, my New York accent is too foul. He said, I can never go for a LA person and I was like he's kind of <laughs> right he's kind of I've been living in the south for 16 years I've not left what my would, New York what would accent. your accent yeah. for that been Nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. Try it, just try it. No, nah, you're going to get me one of because I'm just drinking up. I want to see this shit. Look, 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 he already halfway on. down his give glass. Me, give me your best South Central accent. No, 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 no. <laughs> nah, but you know what's dope? On Snowfall, that Dub C is actually, uh, he's, the, he's, he's the dialect. The dialect. The trainer. Yeah, yeah that's, that's homie. dope. That dope. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't know that. Told, somebody told us on Drink Jams. I no, I saw it at um, oh, the, uh, the behind bugging. the scenes. And then, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, I know that Dub C yeah, yeah. trained him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So John Singleton is ill. Shout but, um, out to Dub C. Um, <laughs> moving on, let's get to stand up. And, <laughs> and that video. Stand up. I remember, man, we was all in the Def Jam offices, man. That oh. shit right there deserves a show all within itself. Just mm. being a Def Jam in New York City. That's and um, up. You doing my interview. That's my next question. Oh, my bad. Shit. Hey, hey, my bad. You drinking. I'm trying to light, I'm trying to light, light back to you. That's how you know this nigga's good. He's good. He's nah, good. Bro, you, know, you got Murder, Inc. You got right. Rockefeller. You got right. Disturbing the Peace. You got right. all these. I'm talking about craziness. Mm. X up there one day. Mm. J up there it's one crazy. day. Mm. Ja up there another day. You got Red and Meth coming yep. through, smoking the place out mm -hmm. but all that being said it's just like bro I remember going up there and stand up coming out and this nigga Irv Gotti just bombarded me yo what the that's how you put out a fuck, fucking single B what the fuck that's what I'm talking about <laughs> nah, it was like I, I just that type of energy was crazy. But right. I think as artists, we all have certain records where we're kind of on the fence about if that shit right. is a hit. Right. We know it's a fucking hit, and somewhere we like we think it's a hit, and then that shit is not right. a fucking but, hit. Right. When I heard "Stand Up," me and this nigga Kanye was in the studio mm. uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. He came down to Atlanta, mm -hmm. and this is a dope ass story because it was the engineer mm -hmm. and it was right. Kanye. And I know a lot of people. You know, we talk about producers yeah. and, and a lot of them. Kanye for being a producer, and it's listen, early Kanye. Yeah. I know listen, bro. Producers sometimes they don't you don't you, you the know buttons. they're a producer you don't see these motherfuckers T touching touch the buttons yeah. right. electronic equipment right. in person mm -hmm. 
Literally just me, Kanye, and the engineer. That motherfucker made that beat in like five minutes on the goddamn ASR-10 keyboard Ooh. by himself. It's literally wow. just us three. Wow. And I mean, it was fucking amazing. And if you listen to that song, there's probably like five sounds in the song. That's it. Yeah, yeah, it's a simple It's, beat, it's right. very simple, so I call it dynamic simplicity. That motherfucker did that. So all that being said, yeah, stand up. As right. soon as I heard that shit, I knew it was a hit. But how did you come up with the concept for the video? Man, that's just the yeah, way the my, my mind hit. <laughs> that was you that came up with the concept? I, I have a couple the, of things that I've yeah. never kind of, that I've, I've regret in life is that I wanted you to direct one of my videos. We can still do that, oh, my yeah, brother. Oh, yeah, no, I'm to make the record. Though. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got the record, but, but how you did you covered. come up with you for stand? Man, uh, the way my mind works, I wouldn't even be able to answer that fucking question wow. for you, bro. I just, uh, whatever the most ridiculous, ludicrous, out of this world, wild. Literally. Right. Shit is That's what I come up with And I'm right. like Let's do that And I definitely gotta give Dave Myers his credit as well right. Cause you know he, he shot a lot of my videos And he shot that one But the big shoes You know The baby head on yeah. the, I mean the big head On the on the, the baby's body mm -hmm. Um <laughs> the, the 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 little person hanging from my necklace, all of that. It's just I just love the visual aspect and just showing people something outside of the realm of what they normally see. I love it. And, and just creating my own lane. That's right. you know what I mean? And I and by the way, of course, I was one hundred percent inspired by the busters of the world right. and the missies of the world, but I had to make my own lane even in that world right. of phenomenal videos. Because I mean that's what kind of really, really what separates you, right? We we know you're lyrical. We know you could pick hits. We know you could do that. But it's really the um, I think that's something that me and you share. It's like the comedic sense. It's to make people want to be entertained and laugh. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? Now that's a good ass question because a lot of people don't know what I can attribute a lot of my style and videos and all these crazy ideas to. I literally was raised off of. Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy and comedians. Like, that's all I used to watch as a kid. When you're young and you're not supposed right. to be watching that shit. Right, right, right. So I'm like, you know, Bismarcky. seven, eight, nine, ten years old. Huh? Bismarcky. Bismarcky, too. Mm -hmm. All of that shit. I'm just, I'm talking yeah. about I was raised off comedians. Comedian, okay, okay, okay. So in terms of me having this style where it's like, it, there's comedic elements right. and, and my videos being funny and me just mm -hmm. always wanting to have a good ass time and laugh and just be lighthearted and just have fun. Right. That shit comes from just me loving right. comedy. I was right. a deaf comedy jam fiend. Like, I watched yeah. it over and over again. Eddie Murphy, you know, Richard Pryor, now Dave Chappelle, uh, wow. Martin. Like, I, I love that shit. Love right. it. Now, one of the <laughs> videos you made um, was somebody bothering somebody in the store while they in the bathroom. You know, you know that shit got worse. You said it got worse. Yeah, like like you when you go to take a piss. <laughs> what? Yeah, what, be, what are you talking about? People taking what a is selfie this now. Talking about? You know, what you mean? Yeah, I went to take a piss the other day. And someone tried to take a selfie with you. It was in a selfie. Oh, come they on. They had the hand on one. Nah, dog, you're yeah. crazy, man. No, shit is crazy out here. You don't. You, <laughs> they did it to you. Hey, you don't go to the bathrooms. Uh, I don't go to bathrooms. <laughs> you don't go to the bathrooms. I don't go to the bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go to the bathrooms. But what is some crazy shit that stalker like? Like ever did to you? Is it the craziest shit that ever Can't happened to us. Another one? Yeah. Are you sure you want another one yeah, right I now? Need like, like we ten. just getting started. Yeah, 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 like, <laughs> right. Nah, we we was on tour and um, I was on my tour bus and we noticed there was a car following us from like one city to the next. So we talking a three hour ride. Mm. So after the first 30, 45 minutes, we like, yo, this fucking car is one hundred percent following us. So we right. pull over. And it's a whole fucking family that gets out. Talking about father, mother, kids. kids. They are the ultimate ludicrous fans, and they're following us to the next city. And we were like, what, what the race fuck is, they? is going <laughs> What race are they? This is like a game. Yes, what this is they? from ding, the mountains ding, of Caucasus. Ding, 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 I'm going to be honest. <laughs> ding, Caucasians. Ding, ding. They're definitely Caucasians. 100%. Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. So follow you down yeah, Caucasians. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I sold 20 million records I, I love yeah, yeah, it I love yeah, yeah. you But yeah That was probably The craziest shit That ever happened We had to make them Stop following us Wait did you have A wrapped bus Is this why they're following Did they well, know No the we bus? had a bunch of buses The wrapped one Was not the one That I was on Put it that way But obviously They knew so I was on So they figured out where, Which bus you were they on They figured out I was on that fucking bus 100% So, so I mean Luda man oh, Your career is just Phenomenal right Thank you bro For real When is the, when is the time Cause I know from my own personal experience, sometimes I still don't think I'm, I've made it, right? I still don't feel like I got to the level where I want to get. But there's so many people in this world that says, oh, man, when was the time that you felt like, man, I'm here? Like, I can't be... Man, it was, it was two different times. So one, 
Like I told you, I used to work in that radio station. Mm-hmm. And they never had us on contracts because I was myself and a guy by the name of Poon Daddy were the youngest, the youngest well, guys the, at the radio the, the, station. Is DC now? No, no, not that, not that. Okay, 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 my bad. So we were the youngest people at the station. So basically, everybody else had contracts, at least year contracts. So me and him, I'm like, again, I'm 18, so I'm young as hell. I don't know shit. I'm just out here having fun, making, uh-huh. making more money than I've seen, hosting clubs. So since they didn't have us on a contract, you know, we... We're in fear of losing our jobs every day because we mm. were live wires. We was mm. doing stupid shit at that mm. radio station. Mm. Things that you would get fired for immediately. Not so. shock jock type shit. Well, maybe, like, maybe, maybe, maybe for back shock then. Jock like, shit. Like, you know, mean? shock jock is like doing something that, you know... Like, oh, you're talking about against the competitive yes, station? Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm talking about just stupid young okay, shit. Okay, like, okay, okay. You okay. know, smoking weed in the limo, almost burning the goddamn car down. <laughs> oh, all God. Types of stupid shit. Oh, God. So, yeah. You uh, was uh, young. You was doing young shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The crazy shit is that at the end of the day, when I was, when What's Your Fantasy came out, so I had an independent. Wait, so what, time out, time out. What's Your Fantasy came out while, while you still, I was still on the radio? at the radio station. Oh, that's legendary. Let's make some yeah, Independent? Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's I thought you quit. Oh, my bad. Let me no, so quiet. the whole story goes, I'm at this station and I'm making these, you know, little hundreds of dollars here and there while I'm hosting these clubs. So I built up enough money to where I had about five to ten thousand dollars where I put all that money back into my own album. So I'm paying for all my recording, all my mixing, all of my mastering. And this is a time when vinyl was still out. Mm-hmm. So I pressed this whole fucking C D together and I had the vinyl and everything and then I distributed independently. Even though first you kinda sell the shit out your trunk right. and there was an independent distributor in Atlanta. Yeah. Uh-huh. So once I start I put the shit out, but the craziest most dynamic, strategic part about this whole plan is in radio, as you know, uh-huh. as time goes on, everybody at radio, they move to different cities. So mm-hmm. you, a lot of people don't stay in one right. particular slot in one city at a time. Right. So during that three to four years that I told you I was up there trying to get put on as ludicrous and in, eventually had to invest in myself, I had a lot of friends in different places that had dispersed all around the country. So I literally told them, yo, I got this single. It's called What's Your Fantasy? Just give it a fucking try on your station. Yeah, you got so people other in DC, you said. other okay, stations, okay, okay. so different friends. Yes. So I had a network, but it was all it was all a plan. So right. they started playing it. The shit gets instant reaction. Uh-huh. Obviously, instant reaction on their on their channels. So once the shit started to blow up, mm-hmm. and you I get knew BDS spins, which is what's key at BDS that spin, time. We had like eight hundred BDS spins right. on our independent artist, which was unfucking heard of. Right. So this is when all the labels started calling me. Before I get to that, we. Motherfuckers started calling my cell phone. I don't even know how the fuck they got my cell phone number. I'm talking about CEOs at every goddamn label. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's another story for another day, but ended up signing with Def Jam, and they sent me my contract. And I remember being on air, and all those times that this station made me feel like I could get fired every fucking day, signing my contract while I was still on the air, and that being one of the best fucking days of my life, knowing that I didn't tell them to go fuck themselves or nothing. I was the just, radio. I, nah. Yeah, I just literally, after I signed that contract, nah. went to them and said, hey, uh, I, I probably won't be working here anymore. <laughs> I'm just letting y'all know. Yeah, I'm going to put my two weeks in. Okay, the but best you, you, fucking two weeks of life. But how did... did this well, is no, I'm going to give you something okay. even. Okay. Okay. Give you something symbolic else. for you. No, nah, it was symbolic as fuck. So the <laughs> other crazy shit is, you know DJ Greg Street. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Greg Legend. Street was my competitor. So he's on this other station that you... Everything you do is competing against the other station. And we were on the yeah. same time slot, mm. which is 6 to 10. Mm. So the moment when What's Your Fantasy started gaining traction... And I'm on the air the same as him. And this motherfucker started playing What's Your Fantasy. Mm. Somebody texted me and was like, yo, Greg Street is playing your song right like now. He's not in I said, I'm not, I'm not believing that shit. Wow. So we on commercial break. I turned to this motherfucker station and I hear my song on the competitor station. That's and dope. I was like, that's Gotta it. Quit. I fucking made it. Yeah. One of the best days of my life. So all that in one. Go, you, you can clap. That's the first time. That's the first time. Okay. Number two is going to be... Um, me winning that rap album, uh, best rap album at the Grammys. Mm. So this was probably a good 10 years later. Every time I went to the Grammys, I'm in a category with Eminem and Ja Rule, and these motherfuckers were killing this shit. Jay-Z, DMX, Luda's huge artist, but when it comes to these motherfuckers, I'm losing every motherfucking award, right? You're not an Illuminati yet. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, yeah, no, it's all good. So I come around and finally, man, I make this album. Mm. Um, release therapy, bro. And I went on there and I was like, man, I'm I'm making this fucking album and I'm going to win best rap album for this shit. I don't care what happens. I'm specifically going in, writing this shit, making it the way it needs to be. The intention was there. And when they called my fucking name, bro, I was like, that was... 
that did it for me because of you know all the years it was like over a decade of loss right. and then finally getting that recognition and then best rap album at that which you already know is hard as fuck and then they weren't really giving yeah. the rap category what they needed yeah, and then right. a funny story to that I know Shaka gonna laugh at this shit that's right because I was so passionate after I got that award I went backstage and at this time they had all the artists separated by curtains so motherfuckers weren't in specific rooms I say that to say I get back and I'm like yeah fuck yeah I made it I did it I won I, I literally set out this album to make a, to get a Grammy and I got it and all of a sudden I hear this voice from the other room on the other side of the curtain and the motherfucker's like shut the fuck up man some of us didn't win any goddamn Grammys today I'm like who the fuck is that I pull the curtain back this nigga Justin Timberlake is on the other side of that motherfucker. Oh, shit. That nigga said, shut the fuck up. Some of us didn't win any goddamn Grammys this year. What the fuck? Make some with Justin Timberlake. Yo, I respect that. That nigga Justin gangster, bro. That nigga gangster as fuck. Holy shit. That is crazy. And you know what? I'm going to say something else. Mm. We we talked about T.I. earlier and, and like all the shit that we've been through. Something that I do respect of all the shit that we've been through. That same setting within that same time frame as me winning because he was in the same category. Mm. He came up to me and said, Congrat like looked me in my eye, gave his hand and said, Congratulations. That's some hard shit nah, for a nigga to do. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you know what I'm saying? We talk all the shit that we had that was negativity. That's something I want everybody to know that was positive as fuck. That was real. And I respect that. That's real. Right. That's love. T.I.'s a man. Hell yeah. Because we asked him about you on um, on the same show, and he kind of had the same sentiment. Let's give some flowers. Let's get some man. flowers. Let's get Listen, some Luda, flowers out. I'm gonna be honest with you. From the beginning of our show, we wanted to give you these flowers. We wanted to tell you how great you are. You you. He's been a year one request. We've been year one request. Let I know you were something. in the quarantine episode, but that didn't count. I appreciate but let me just that. Say something. That, that means the world to you, me, man. You have the. You have. Let me tell you who you are as an artist, right? I'm gonna tell you who you are as a person, but who you are as an artist. You have that unique of fitting. Let's let's, let's make some noise for the flower first. Make, make some noise for Mr. Lee now waiting for you to finish. And by the way, you're the first one to get the flowers that's, in a briefcase. That's our, a new iteration in a briefcase, of, of a the new flowers one. right there. Yes, yeah. yes. Snoop Dogg says it's like brother, better than the Grammy because it's, it's love. love your people. Absolutely but let me tell love. you who you are. Let me tell you who you are. Tell me about myself, motherfucker. Let's go. I want to hear. There isn't, there isn't another artist who can fit Oof. in a gangster genre. And kind of like a, a backpack genre, and kind of like a top forty genre, and kind of like any genre, and kind of fit there. You know how you like? That's love. He's a like, you're a rapper's rapper. That's what it is, really. Yes, at the end you of are. Day. You're a rapper's yes, rapper. You are. Yes, Come, you listen, are. coming from y'all, that means the world no, to me. No, I'm gonna yeah. take it. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I'm just being honest that. with you. That's love. Because, because that means you can you can morph into anything. You a true MC, man. And I, I don't you, know sir. if I said this earlier, but one of my biggest gripes with Pharrell was. When I first got in the studio with Pharrell, he was like, you have to embrace your character. I said, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> wait, was that Leo or was that Pharrell? Who? It's Leo Pharrell. Like, Leo Pharrell? Yeah. Yeah. It Leo was Leo Pharrell. No, but Pharrell was like, no, but he's, he, he really was like, you have to embrace your character, how Buster embraces his character. And I didn't understand, because I was like, I'm not a character, I'm yeah. just being who I am. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, it doesn't matter who you think you are, it's how the people perceive you. Right. And I never embraced my character. And I felt like from the moment I seen you from, well, well, what's your fantasy? I was like, this guy's embracing his character. He's doing exactly what Pharrell. And by the way, throw them bowls, I heard that beat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, word. I heard about this. You got to tell me what the fuck happened, I bro. I passed on that. I've been keeping my ass. The, city, 20, the rumors are true. One year. <laughs> for 21 years, I've been kicking my ass and kicking myself in the ass. It was not for you, bro. That's crazy. It wasn't for, it wasn't for you. Let's be it honest. Let's me. be honest. I'm not you knew that, Jacques? It wasn't for me. It Damn. wasn't for you. It was, I it was meant to go where it was supposed to go. I wouldn't have did Southern Hospitality. I wouldn't have did Yeah, no, nah, it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you. And every time I see the video with you upside down, I was like, that's how I heard the beat. I was upside down. Bro, let me tell you. <laughs> as you giving me my flowers, I'm going to tell you, banned from TV, that shit changed my God fucking damn, life. God damn, God damn it. Changed my oh, life. So anything, oh, look, anything you giving me right now, no, no, that's, no, a part, you, that's you, some you, of the DNA. No, that shit helped mold me. Hold on, hold on. But let's talk about Throw Them Bowls. Southern Hospitality. Yeah. You in the studio. That's just after my fantasy. Yeah, this was after. And we had to literally turn the fucking album in like 
the day after I and recorded now, Throw Them Bows. This is already Def Jam, not, not the independent version of what you were putting out already. No, this is Def Jam. This is when oh, I'm on Def Jam. What version of Def Jam? Oh, this is L.A. Reed? This is the first album. No, no, this, no, is, no this, this is, is Leo and, and yeah, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat Kevin. Yeah, fat Kevin. <laughs> fat Kevin. Let's just be clear. It's two different Kevins. Yes, Fat I love, Kevin. I love all three. <laughs> Rob Love is, at, is doing the marketing. Rob Love. I had just started, Mike I had just started doing the streaking. Mike Kaiser. Rob Love. That, Mike know, Kaiser. When I, Julie Greenwald. When I, you, yeah. you had just came Randy to the label. Randy We you named just a drink after Rob uh-huh. Love. We love that. That's love. when I started doing Street Team. This was my first project that I worked as the regional for, for South Florida. Fantasy? Yeah, the, the, this project, Ludacris project. You, you, you don't put EFN on. Look at that. Rest in peace, oh, Doc Fresh. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, no, rest in peace, Doc Fresh, who passed yes. it to me. And then you, you as well, that told yes. Rob. Yeah, so... You go to the studio, and then Pharrell got this beat already playing. Pharrell got the beat, man. And I'm like, believe it or not, like I was saying earlier, sometimes you know what's a hit. Sometimes uh-huh. you're like, eh, I thought it was cool when I yeah. first heard it. Oh, did he start doing like this? Yeah, of course. You know Pharrell <laughs> yeah, do that yeah. shit. So, <laughs> Sorry. So I go, in the, I go in the car. Like, this is where I write my, all my music. It's the, it's in my, the car? I, always, I write all of my shit in a car. I love the fucking car. You got the surround sound. I get my own space. Roll the window down. Producers do that, too, with the beats. They go in the car yeah. to listen to the beats. How do they make it? Yeah, go ahead. 100%. So I think maybe it took maybe 45 minutes to an hour. I had uh-huh. them verses. I went in there, did the shit. Still thought the song was cool. Mm-hmm. And then when everybody else heard that motherfucker, they was like, "Are you fucking crazy? This shit is out of here." Where was that? Atlanta? In, no, we was in Virginia. Virginia. We was okay. in fucking. Okay. Yeah, we was in Virginia at Pharrell Studio. Okay, okay, okay. I know this. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. So that's how that shit came about, man. And that's what that's what set it off because what's your fantasy was for the ladies, obviously. And then once Throwing Bowls came out, it was a wrap. Mm-hmm. That was like that record is crazy. That rounded everything out in terms of me being a new fucking artist. Mm-hmm. And it was it was a game changer. No. <laughs> You are, you're a new artist, but you're on Def Jam. Yeah. And to me... The first Southern artist signed to Def Jam, by the way. Wow. No other Southern artist. So it was all New York roster, like you said. You, Red... This is what I, this is, this is, this is what I want to... I mean, Red from Jersey. Nip the bud. Yeah. Because was Scarface already the president? No, no, it was before you? Scarface had Or Def you Jam was already South, signed right? to Def Jam, and then they made Scarface the president. I, I want to say it happened, like, si- damn near simultaneous. simultaneously. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But Scarface became the president. Because I thought it was you first, and then that's when they kind of, like, brought in Scarface afterwards Scarface, to do that. I think he was president, like, right before I got signed. Okay. Really? So I, okay. yeah. And then co-signed it. Yep, so Kevin and, and Scarface, I was their first sign. Oh, okay. But again, no. you, had, you had Jay-Z, you had Ja, you had DMX, mm-hmm. you got you, you got yeah. Meth, everybody right. the whole roster in New York. Right. And I was first Southern artist. So we we was debating about, you know, whether this was the right label for us because we was like, I don't know if they're going to know what to do with a Southern like, artist. There's no other Southern artist. But right. you must have yeah. felt dope because regardless, any hip-hop head, Def Jam is the mecca. Oh, listen, man. LL Cool J changed my life. You must have been like, like, yeah, bro, let's do come this. Come on, man. I'm bad. That's that's the reason I'm here at this table today. Right. That's the reason I rap. And I've told this motherfucker that he was there when I got the Hollywood star uh, just this 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 year. Mm-hmm. So, man, that nigga LL Cool Oh, thank you, man. You can't yeah. go lightly on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now nah, LL Cool J, yeah. So Def Jam, one hundred percent. I was right. excited, but that was the only reservation. Is that I was, I was the only Southern artist on there, but that shit worked out right. like a motherfucker. Right. Man. Hell would yeah! You, would you ever do a residency? Absolutely. W- where I would, would you love want that your shit. First residency be in Vegas for sure. Yeah, that's the that's oh, the mecca of residencies. Where in Shout Vegas? out to Wu Tang dude yeah. that just announced the, the residency. Blue? I know Found Blue just opened. Uh, just open, yeah. I, I currently have a deal in Vegas, so I, politically, I'm not going to be able to tell you that answer Good right now. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, next time I'm on Drink Champs, so I got you. This, is, this won't be the last time. Let us time, do Drink Champs right. at wherever right. that deal is. Let's go. Right. Let's do that. Now, now, lovers and friends, when I was on, on here, we were on the way coming here, a lot of people said they made a lot of babies to lovers and friends. That's a great thing, shit. <laughs> is that a great thing? That's a great fucking thing. A lot of people make babies of what's your fantasy, too, yeah. goddamn. Yeah. But y'all, nah, Lovers and Friends, we never shot a video for that shit, yeah. ever. And this, this record is huge. Mm. But uh, until this day, I just had a show last night. I got a show tonight. We always do Lovers and Friends, and the whole crowd sings the whole damn song. But that's that's a special one right there, yeah. for sure. So where was you at? An Usher called you, and you called, a, you called him Earth. It's crazy. We were in Miami. Usher had a fucking show. It's funny because Shaq would fuck with me about my memory, but I have the most selective memory. When you asked me that, yeah. that shit came to me immediately, nigga. <laughs> me and John showed up for Usher's show down here in Miami. When you say John, talking about John Singleton. 
Lil John. Oh, Lil John. Lil John produced the record. It's actually Lil John's John. record. Okay, okay. It's actually Lil John's record. So we came to his show and this nigga Usher was like, nigga, I got another one. I got another one for us. I was like, worry, let me hear this shit. So before he goes on stage, they let me hear it. I'm like, we out of here again mm -hmm. on a whole other level. Yeah, it's fucking 100 something BPMs, yeah. lovers and friends, uh -huh. 60 something BPMs. Right. So we out of here. Yeah, nah, man. Making history with them, them two, man, some of the greatest brothers on earth, bro. Right. For sure. God damn, let's make some noise for that. Nah, for sure. Listen, it's time for Quick Thomas Live. Ooh, are we All ready? Right. All right, Jamie, you ready? Quick is, Time of Slime. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Quick Time of Slime. Uh, you got it? Yeah, the second one? The second one? Oh, All right, by two. the way, could, explain him the rules, and then we're going to tell you the two evil motherfuckers who make these questions. All right, we're going uh, to give you two choices. You pick one, and then nobody drinks. If you say both or neither of them, we drinking. Okay. So picking an answer. Y'all got to drink too? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm we drinking drink with y'all. Yeah, yeah. I'm well, drinking with you. All right. Yeah, we're not going to let yeah. you drink by yourself. Yeah, we're not going to so. let you. All right, all good. And by the way, we've been excited to have you here, brother. Thank no, you I so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Here. And you can take a sip from your drink or take a shot, whatever you'd like. We're going to, I'm going to yeah, take let a me... shot. Okay. I just have shots, right? Okay, yeah, okay. What? No, 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 no. We, 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 we got homegirl. She's going to oh, give you a shot. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's Jamie. Yeah, yeah, I'm that's Jamie. Yeah. That. I'm sorry. Yeah, we got one girl here. Let her do her, her girly job. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, oh God. Make some noise. Well, on if we have one girl here, it'd be crazy. If we do take a shot, have Inf come over here and take oh, a shot with okay, us. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 I got you. We're going to bring him in later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so um, EFN, you want to set it off? Let's go. Gucci or Jeezy? Ooh. And you could explain if there's stories to go with anybody. We mentioned both names because we want to just talk about different people, not in a bad or negative way. Just nah, the, bring people's me, name up. To me, I, man, I fucking love both of these guys, man. I'm talking about the history that they've made, the, what they've done for the goddamn culture, but just personal on a personal level in terms of who I probably listen to more, it would be Jeezy. Mm, okay. That's my guy. But, man, Gucci, what that motherfucker has done for, for the, man, for the street culture— no one in the, like, we talk about Jeezy and Gucci, but let's just say for Gucci, I don't think anyone has done for street culture what that motherfucker has done for street culture and hip hop, period. And his transformation, Pure, health transformation. wise and everything, uh, like, it's crazy. When like, we did the uh, men's health cover, example, man. they had me, you, 50, Busta, Busta. 50. Uh -huh. I, told, I told them people they need to get Gucci. Yeah. How the fuck y'all not gonna get Gucci? That motherfucker uh, made the best transformation yeah. in hip hop, period. Crazy. And they thought he was a clone at one point. They did. Yeah, 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 that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that they thought he was a clone. I remember that. I, I, I played Coast of Clinton. I'll say, wait a minute. You played yeah, Coast of Clinton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The clone? Yeah, wait a minute. T.I. or 2 Chains? T.I. or 2 Chains. You know, I would give credit where credit is due when it comes to, to, to Tit. I call him Tit in terms of, I think that something that people don't give him credit for is how different he try, you know, he tries to be. Mm -hmm. As opposed to doing what everybody else is doing, I really think he takes the time to make different cadences with his with his raps. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I, as a rapper, you have to appreciate that. Not just going off from the norm because that's risky. Mm -hmm. But in that particular battle, I would I would go with Ti. Okay, so Ti. Okay. Yeah. Outcast or UGK? Outcast or UGK? God damn! Just, just take a shot for the Woo! South. Just take a shot for the South, man. You making me take a shot? I no, got no, an no, answer, but I'll take a shot. Don't lead the witness. Don't lead the witness. I'm leading the witness. I'm sorry. Don't lead the witness. <laughs> this is more a personal thing because personal. both UGK and Outcast have done so much for me. People don't realize the relationship that me and Pimp C had, man. He he really did a lot behind the scenes when I was really? first starting out. We we had the song on my first album, um, Stick 'Em Up. Mm -hmm. And that motherfucker's amazing, amazing. But Outkast taking me on tour, like with them, and and just everything they did, I'm gonna have to go with Outkast. And that's, this is that was, that was the hardest one of all the questions y'all have given me wait so a, far. I'm going, I gotta Outkast go with Outkast. You on your first tour? No, they. Is that what I said? I, I went on yeah, tour with them. Oh, sorry, no, no, sorry. You went on tour with them. Yeah. I went on tour with them. That's what I said. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. That wasn't your first tour. No, 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 no. Wait, was that our first tour? Damn, we now we all me going on tour with Outkast. Yeah, my my first time going on tour, Outkast brought me on, and this was the right. Stankonia tour. God, yeah, Stankonia God. tour. I think I saw that. He just said the illest floss and just try to act like it was nothing. <laughs> like, yeah, yo, yeah, man, yeah. come on, we got history. Yeah, though. that's yeah. fly, yo. Holy moly, gag. All that's right, cool. eight ball MJG or three six mafia. God damn! Now we taking a drink. Take us your eyes out. Finally, salud. Yeah, salud. Cheers, cheers. Mm. Man, I'm talking about those motherfuckers. Both of those were the Bible. Oh. The Bible of life. Yes. 
fuck my life. Shit. <laughs> Next one, E. Hold on, man. I'm recovering from that moment. That's what I wanted the verses to be. Shit. Jesus Christmas. Um, e balling MJG in 360. Shauna or Trina? Shauna or Trina? I mean, you know, I'm going to go with the home team. Right. I got to go with Shauna on that. How'd y'all connect? Yeah, because she's from Shauna, Chicago, right? Yeah. She used to be in a group called Infamous Syndicate out yep, of Chicago. Yep. Right. They were signed to, was it Relativity? Relativity. Yeah, they were signing yeah. the Relativity Records, and um, because we, the EFM just... for getting that check from Relativity, because you the only nigga that knew that. Yeah, Shaka, you and Shaka said, "Oh, Relativity." I said, "Damn, this, y'all only two niggas in this whole motherfucker that got a Relativity check at that time." I got y'all. Respect that. Go ahead, continue. Yes, yeah, <laughs> no, no, he was saying he was my bad. My so now, now I was saying I. Uh, just Shauna, in terms of, I think she's lyrically and just mm-hmm. cadences and mm-hmm. flows and how she's able to do shit, she's fucking incredible to me. And that's not to take away from any of Trina's catalog and right. what she's done for the right. culture as well, but just in terms of rapping, I gotta go with Shauna on that. But you, and Shauna you know, came from Infamous Syndicate, which we noticed her talent early on when she was in that group. Right. And I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta do something with that girl. Right. Crazy Ma- with it. Imagine how hot Chicago is, Shauna. You discover Shauna now. Right. Right. Like, it's almost like she was like ahead of her time. I'm gonna have to agree. That's what she's yeah. definitely ahead of her time. Ahead of her time. You know, and I don't think she really gets the respect she deserves. I gotta go back and listen to that. Oh no, no, no. She's a beast. Shauna ain't beast, Shauna Shauna beast like a to play with. We gotta Absolutely. have her on drink chance, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Oh, tell her that. She'll she will yeah. definitely come on drink yeah, chance. Yeah, 100 yeah. percent yes. All right. Fast and furious or too fast, too furious? Which well, there's two called Fast and Furious. You talking about the very first the one? The first one, the very first one. I mean, oh. these guys wrote it. I'm just reading the way no, they no, no, wrote you're it. Good. But that's what they meant. They meant yeah. the first one and no, no, the, no. the next one. This will let you know that I that I'm not a biased person just because I'm in a fucking movie. I'm gonna go with the first one over the shit that I'm in. One hundred percent. Yeah, for sure. And Jao, I mean, that shit we, we love you, but thank you for not coming to work that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That shit set the it set the tone for the whole for the rest of the of the right. sequels. So it's like you know how can you be mad at that? That's crazy how that yeah. that has endured that series. One hundred percent. But it's the people that's making it endure. It's the whole world. No, no, they love it. No, it's crazy. Absolutely, it's a cult following. Facts. Eminem or Busta? Ah, why y'all put those two together, man? <laughs> shit. <laughs> If it wasn't for Busta, I wouldn't be here. God damn, I'm taking the shot. Take a Fuck shot. that, bro. Take a shot, Salud. Salud. God Salud. damn, these are some yeah. tiny ass shots, by the way. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, like, what's going yeah, on? Yeah. It's a lot. No, it's a lot of questions. Trust me, it's tiny. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, by shit. design, by design. All right, all good. Because then later on, you'd be like, damn, y'all, y'all fucked me up. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't want no lawsuits no. and shit around here. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I wouldn't be the one to sleep. I'll, I'll be all right. No, you too rich for that. Come yeah, on, let's go. Nas or Jada Kiss? Nas or Jada Kiss? Ah. Made You Look Remix that I'm on with both of these motherfuckers, yes, man. Yes, yes, ah, I'm gonna have to go. Listen, I'm only I'm only doing this because we I got Virgos in the house. I gotta go with my Virgo brother Nas, nice. man. And you know what? You know why I say that? Cause I'm on the Knock Yourself Out remix, and I'm mad at Jada Kiss for never putting that shit out. Oh, Jada Kiss put that goddamn song oh, out. Let's bootleg that. That's Jada the only right reason. Now. It was on mixtape. Let's tapes. bootleg that. But hold <laughs> That's on. That's the only reason on. I'm saying Nas right Let, now. Jada put that shit out. Let me stop. Right now, because you also have a record with Nas and Jay Z. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the only artists that got a record with Nas and Jay Z. You and Shaq. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) No, doesn't Khaled have to join two with him? It's, yeah, it's just, no, that was recent. Right, right, right. I'm just saying. That was like like the unicorn. Of course, yeah. How did you pull that off? Bro, I was literally. did you lie to both of them? Absolutely not. Okay. Did you, you lie to both like, of them? I was cool with both of them. He's not going to be on it. He's not going to be on it. <laughs> yeah, that's like being at the right place at the right time and being cool you with both, both of them. You told both of them, yeah. 100%. Holy moly. Bro. Yeah, Nas did his verse first and then Jay did his second. And I was like, and the song is called I Do It For Hip Hop. And if yeah, you ain't heard no, that shit, incredible. you need to go stream this motherfucker right yes. now. Cool. It's only on YouTube. It's, yeah. Help it, help it DJ, oh, Ooh. DJ, oh, Guru helped make it happen. And then DJ Premier did the beat. So yeah, DJ no, Premier beat. Nas and Jay-Z, come on, go listen yo, to that shit, lie. bring it back. Luda don't get enough love for that, yo. Yo, yeah, listen, right. listen, I ain't gonna lie. You got Nas and Jay-Z on a primo beat, and people don't even know that. Oh, no, a lot of people know it. Just like he said, that's one of his favorite <laughs> shit. Yeah, but it, it did record. fly under the radar, but we saying it now on Drink Champs, and y'all motherfuckers got a lot of followers, so something right. tells me yes. people about to go listen to yeah, this shit. Go, if they go, ain't ahead, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hell okay. yeah. And Can you said Young Guru has something to do with it too, right? So yeah, shout yeah, him out. Yeah, Young Guru. Big shout up, out yeah, to Young Guru for making it happen. Thank you, my guy. Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Oh, y'all. That, listen, those are the two motherfuckers I love the most right oh, now. They keep me inspired. Mm. They keep me inspired. Should we taking a Fuck. shot? Yeah, you can take that shot. Okay. I love both of them motherfuckers. Yeah. Man. 
Solo. Those are my picks for mm. the class. Oh. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I smell like Bulgari. You smell like cat? What do you smell Look, like? I got to put on a Bulgari lotion, and I'm like, I... Wait, how are you doing right now with, uh, with these drinks? I'm fantastic, man. I'm fantastic. Luna, we here with... Let me tell you right right something. When he stands up at any point, that's when you'll know. Listen, let me tell you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luda, you, Shaka, your whole team, man. I'm sorry. Like, I'm like, man, I really love you brothers, man. Nah, you brothers you are the same. Bro, you like, know you you six old you six days older than me. You know that shit. Yeah, wow. I didn't know that. Damn, yo. Six fucking days. So you my little homie. That's I like nah, that. All of that, man. <laughs> Virgo shit. shit. Yeah, yeah, Virgo shit. I ain't gonna lie though. Um, the unity that y'all show. Uh the longevity. Mm -hmm. That shit is so beautiful, man. Like when I seen, cause Shaka don't call nobody. Uh, you know. So when Shaka called me, I was like, holy shit. I, I don't know what I was doing. I was just like, what's up, nigga? <laughs> I was in the middle of something, but I made sure I was sound and smooth. He's like, yo, we're pulling up. And it was so good to hear from him because he's such a good brother, man. Absolutely. Um, yeah, our team is like so solid. Bro, just in case you didn't know, and not to, not to mm -hmm. cut you off, but... Um, 24 years, mm. no contract, never needed one. Mm -hmm. wow. 24. That's real friendship, man. <laughs> it was a, it was a motherfucking that's handshake, right. look at each other's eyes, this is what it's going to be, and we riding. Right. And that's it. Unheard of in the music industry. Because yeah. it wasn't industry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. By the way, I want them young artists. Can you say that one more time, please? 24 years, no contract, no management contract, no nothing. Just a handshake. Well, hold up. Yeah. We still okay, yeah, good. Re relax. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a sentimental moment. Yeah, yeah, man. no, no, no yeah. <laughs> Tupac or DMX? Ooh. Oh, come on. You can't. Fuck, man. Why would you do that, man? Uh, DJ Evans, come take a shot with me, goddamn. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. Now, y'all, y'all getting dirty now. Yeah. Come on, man. No, we've been dirty. Why y'all gonna do that shit? We've been bro? dirty. We've been dirty. Infamous. Yeah, yeah. Solo, solo. Yeah, yeah. Solid. 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 Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh, the next Damn. one's next one's not gonna help. Trust me. Stated. <laughs> AT aliens or Equimini? AT aliens or Equimini? I'm gonna go with Equimini. Okay. Just because I love AT aliens, but Equimini, there were some records on there that was just like, let's put it this way. I think Andre 3000 was spazzing on AT alien, but he spazzed on a whole other fucking level on Equimini. Go back and listen to that shit. You'll see what I'm talking about. He even yeah. did his thing on the flute album, too. I thought the flute album was kind of dope. Yeah, it was, it was I wasn't change. mad at the flute album. <laughs> we need I'm that sometimes. I'm definitely not mad at the flute album. But then Lupe yeah. Fiasco rhymed on one world. of the beats, and then Joe Button dissed him, and I was like, I wanted to rhyme on one of the beats. And I was like, no. I said that, though, before it came. I said, watch, hip-hop will sample this and make it more hip-hop than anything else. Yeah, somebody already yeah. did that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Lupe, and they, they, didn't, they didn't like Lupe's. <laughs> well, I didn't hear that shit. According to Joe Button, this is what nah, Come on, man. I'm sorry. God damn. It takes a lot for Joe to like something. I look at I'm sorry, go ahead, continue. Kanye or Pharrell? Uh, on a production tip? On whatever tip. God damn, that's a hard one too, bro. Two totally different styles in my opinion. Fuck. Kanye or Pharrell? Come back to me on that one. Okay, go to yeah, the next I like one. that. I like, I like that. that. I want to think about that. Come back to me on that one is a good answer. You know that's, that's the best answer. You know what? Definitely coming, coming back to me. Because you know what's crazy. You know what's crazy is like the the catalog that they have is it's so extensive that it's you can't you can't like that, yeah. that ain't no shit that you need to right. hurry up and. But they are kind of totally different people, even though they have a lot of similarities. Yeah. Right. Let's go to the next one. Yeah. Okay. L. Cool J or Big Daddy Kane. I just told y'all LL Cool J yeah. is like the, the holy grail with it because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't rap. And I've seen Big Daddy Kane a couple times over this yeah. hip hop 50 year and I've told him how much he meant to me but if I had shout to choose out, between uh, those two. Rock the Bells yeah. and they're doing. Got Big Daddy Kane's still smooth too. Nah, Big Daddy Kane's oh, the bro. I be trying to get him out of character. <laughs> <laughs> throwing rocks You can't because that is his character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth operator that he gets the job the done. Yeah. <laughs> Real slow. <Yeah. laughs> Metro Boomin or Zaytoven? Mm. Oh, man, Zaytoven, that motherfucker's a guru on that goddamn piano, man. Um, both of them extremely talented. If I had to choose one, I'm going to go with Metro, man. Okay. On a production tip. Organized Noise or Beats by the Pound? I was about to say, you could stop there. Organized Noise, once again, like, that's... 
When it comes to production, organize fucking noise. They need more acclaim. Yeah. They was, man, just go back and listen to any of that outcast, you know, Goody Mob, yeah, Cool they, they, Breeze. They started a whole movement. Dungeon Family. But when you listen to their production, it didn't sound like any yeah. fucking thing that was out. And, and they, they changed they set, it per artist. Like, it, like their, their sound for each group and artist was different. 100%. Right. So I got to go with Organized Noise on that, for sure. Y'all South niggas get together real good. <laughs> I see that shit. I see what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? No, I'm man. watching. I'm watching. Go ahead. Little baby or dub baby? Ooh. Two different styles right there as well. Shit. A lot of people say dub baby is the new Luda. Mm. No, I've, I've heard those comparisons and I've, I've seen him in person, man. And he's su such a talented dude, man. This motherfucker directing his own videos and yeah, shit. Yeah, nah, now. he's dope. That's but what it, we always thought you did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to a degree, I still do. But mm -hmm. I, I just told him how proud I was of him. And when I look at what he's doing, you know, he did mention me before. He said that I inspired him to do some of the videos he's done. Why? So just because of that, I love Lil Baby. But let's go with the baby because that motherfucker got baby. some yeah, little, yeah, little yeah, ass yeah. shit on it. <laughs> Hell What's yeah. Diego Calderon or Don Omar? Nigga, how many of these do we have? We God. have a lot. That's why it's small shots. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Oh, that's so right. And Diego and Don Omar was both in Fast and Furious. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Tego or Don? Mm -hmm. uh, man, that's a... Take a shot. Mm -hmm. we could, yeah, we can say if both. The shotgun say take a shot. This shit got yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't have a... I ain't got a shot. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Jamie... Yeah. Jamie got you. Yeah, Jamie. Okay. She, she ain't you know Jamie she, ATL you know? as well. Oh, she's ATL. You know she, she, she rep ATL? That's what I there. She, yeah, yeah. She yeah, told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take Salud. the shot. Yeah. Salud. Cheers, Salud. cheers. Salud. Damn. <laughs> Is that the difference between? Um, I know we're in quick time with slime. Um, we're kind of like making music and movies. A lot of the times when I made a movie, I made like seven to like nine or twelve, something like that, little cameos. But I had to do physicals. I had to do all that. Yeah. I don't have to do that when I make an album. Is that the difference? It's a lot of differences, but that's definitely one of them. We can do whatever the fuck we want. We don't take right. drug tests right. and shit right. like right. that as rappers. You know, it's wow. the it's the most freedom. And you know what? I'm glad you asked that because people would think like, what's the better job to have? Sometimes when you're an A-list movie star, mm -hmm. you get the huge bucks and you get millions and millions of dollars, right? right? Some rappers don't necessarily make that in that short amount of time. Right. But the crazy thing about what I see that movie stars envy about rappers and entertainers is, is the me? fucking freedom right. that comes along with what we do. Right. And that, you can't put a price on that shit. Mm -hmm. So my number one job in the world, and I feel like everyone should aspire, or what they aspire to if they want to be in the music industry, is to be, is to have that freedom. 100%. I, can, I, I can't tell you how many times, Luda, and I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be very careful with what I'm about to say. <laughs> how many times I hung out with basketball players Football players. It's another sport. Huh? Soccer players, baseball players. Nah, I don't hang out with no soccer players. <laughs> so you hang out with yeah, your, baseball players. You hang out with tennis players? <laughs> and these motherfuckers get high as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wait looking second, at wait. it. But they hiding wait. it. They hiding it, though. But they hiding that's what, that's it. What, that's like, where he's going no, with it. No, hold on. Why the fuck <laughs> did I just have deja vu right now? Like, I... <laughs> This is the first time on Drink Chaps. Him just saying that to me about basketball players getting high as fuck. That moment, I've seen and heard this shit before. This is a first. What the fuck? Yes, I'm just, that shit was I'm crazy just honest, I would be looking at these no, guys they like... No, they do. It's true, though. I'll be looking at them like, you know, I don't got to see Roger Goodell. Like, <laughs> Russell Simmons is not coming to see me. He yeah. doesn't give a fuck. Damn. And these guys will go in. Right. And then they got to play on Sunday. And I watch, and I say, he didn't make a sack at all. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he get high with me? Yo. It was your fault. Yo, you going a little too far, uh, bro. <laughs> I go to the studio, my verse is still okay. Yeah. The next day. It, it might, might be better, right? Yeah, it might yeah, be better. this verse. What's the on that <laughs> Yo, Spiff that's TV is gonna kill me for saying this story. I'm gonna say this real fast. Real I hung out with one real fast. I hung out with a baseball player. We chilling. This motherfucker gets bit, <laughs> and I get bent, but my crib is right there. I'm like, I know I can go to sleep. I go to sleep. He wakes up the next day. I turn on the television. He strikes out every. 
Every bit. Yo, so you obviously did not give I'm a fuck. I'm sitting there like, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, athletes. You gotta relax. <laughs> And yeah, I've, no, I've had some some, some similar experiences. So you telling the truth? Like I yeah. said, deja vu, bro. That's real. Yes. Okay. Real Next shit. one. Yeah, man. Oh man. Hustle and flow, or what the fuck did y'all? Put? Oh, hustle and flow and crash, or crash. Crash, man. Crash. Like, hustle and flow is 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 def- Both of those are classics, by the way. Just right. the, the experience that I had. Thank you. With going to the Academy Awards and. Mm. And that shit winning when nobody thought it was going to do that, and it was mm. an independent shot movie, and that that shit is everything to me. That damn Crash movie to have that on my resume is out and of that was world. first, right? Crash was the first. That Crash you was experience before Hustle all that, right? yeah. And I know you picked Crash, but um, Terrence Howard just did a, a interview, yeah, talking about how he didn't get paid for Hustle and Flow. Like he, you know, he said he got fifteen thousand. No, no, fifteen. They got be mine, bro. Say four thousand. Come on, four thousand, fifteen, twenty, ten. That's yeah. fucked up, cause you got. I got paid like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Sorry. I'm, so, uh, damn, that's my nigga. Right. His his deal was well, different. Mr. Lee is getting four thousand dollars only, man. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, he's, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know anything about that, but I heard I heard him say that. Yeah, that's and crazy. That is crazy. Hundred percent. That's why you got shock on your team. <laughs> you, you, Absolutely. You, you make that type of deal. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> the source or double XL. Mm. The Source or Double XL? I'm gonna have to go with the Source just because I got a Source Award at my fucking crib. I don't think I have a Double XL Award. No, That's the original Double XL <laughs> made award. Yeah, I gotta go with the <laughs> gotta go with the Source. Yeah. Now yeah. you just making up shit. Now what you doing? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I promise. It's you. all good. I'm fucking with you. Vin Diesel or The Rock? Vin Diesel or The Rock? I, I would only say Vin. Uh, Vin started the franchise uh, when it comes to fast, but man, both of them motherfuckers are some of the most disciplined individuals I know when it comes to whatever they put their mind right. to. Yeah. Yeah. And then Tyrese and The Rock worked their shit out? They did work their shit out. Right. 100%. They yeah, did. Yeah. Yep. That's real. All right. Go ahead. Meth or Red? Mm. Man, people used to say I was a down south red man. Um mm. Mm. I love Red, and I, I just saw him recently at uh, the same place I saw you at, mm. at, the, at the Leo Cohen event, right. and um, I was just giving him his praises, man. And I've had moments and, and some history with both of them, but in terms of just who influenced me more, I would have to go with Red Man. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> All right, Rick Ross or Trick Daddy? Ah, mm. Rick Ross. But I would say without Trick Daddy, Rick Ross wouldn't be here. Damn, that was hard. Man, which is very difficult to choose between those two. God damn. But, I mean, just in terms of when I'm listening to all of the catalogs, I, I would go with Ross on that one. Mm. But thank you, Trick, for even allowing Ross to, you know, to do what he yeah, did, no, man, is, in the beginning. He's the mayor. He's the mayor. Yeah, man. he put him on. He put, I think he put him yeah, on the record. And Trick got his teeth done, too. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> Oh, Only you would do that and make some noise oh, for nigga. That. that nigga, they got his gold now, out love, of there. This love nigga trick, go bro. to the parents' teacher night now. Love he could have yes, gone that's, there that's, before with the gold team. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> teacher got goals too. Yeah, teacher got gold too far here. DJ Khaled or DJ Drama? DJ Khaled or DJ Drama? Mm. Both my niggas. Drama is looking at this very close. Oh, no, for Slay sure. <laughs> very, very Slay close. You know. yeah. He's going to text you. I love drama, but I have this record that no matter where I go, called All I Do Is Win. I do it every goddamn show. Mm-hmm. So as much as I love drama, I got to go with Khaled on this one. Because that motherfucker. <laughs> honesty is real. Hell yeah. That's right. All right, this is a difficult one. Scarface or Ice Cube? Fuck, man. Shot. Shot. So God gonna, damn, that's a hard one. I'd take you know what? Too. I'm gonna take the shot, but I, I'm, I am gonna say Scarface yeah, you, on that one. Back on God damn it. Take the shot. But I'm though. still, I'm still, ta- I'm gonna take the shot you just because I want to take a fucking shot. Yeah, Let's go. go. I ain't, <laughs> do it. You want to explain why you why you went back on both of those, man? Both mm-hmm. of those artists are so amazing. Take it. <laughs> both of those artists to me are like, like you say, artists, artists. Right. Everybody has pretty much set their tone or been influenced by those two motherfuckers yeah. in some way, shape, or form. Ice Cube, what he did for the West Coast and all of the industry and what Scarface did for the South and all of the industry. Both being very lyrical, by Both the way. being extremely yeah. lyrical, but I think my, my heart is closer to Scarface, Face. which is why I chose Got it. Face. You play golf? 
I mean, we was just talking about this shit. I don't have the patience yet, man. Neither. I'm going to get there. I want one day. Being a real Virgo. Yeah, yeah, nah, for sure. I, I can't fuck y'all golf niggas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the patience yet, man. I'm getting there, though. Is Face that good at golf? Face is good at golf. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know, know that. I, know, I, I had no idea the nigga was that good. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, serious. I know. He's serious. Yeah, he's serious. Okay, what's next? All right. Timberland or Swiss Beats? Oh, fuck, man. Both my brothers. Those are both my brothers. If they're friends in the industry and I have very few, like when you talk about real shit, mm -hmm. those are both my friends. Mm -hmm. But uh, it was no secret when I had my verses, I was giving praises. I feel like, to me, Timberland is the best producer of our time. Mm. That's, that, that's just my opinion. And I know people will beg to differ, but when you go back and listen to his beats and you think about like how he structured snares and kicks and 808s and the bounces and arpeggiating and it's completely out of the norm again of what anyone else is doing. And I just feel like he puts so much into it. And Swiss making history on a whole other level for what he does, yeah. but personally, I gotta go with Timberland. And, and, Tim I, and is you nice go back to the R and B the as well. Like the the fact that he can go between both is crazy. Yeah. As well. And if we go back to the Pharrell and Kanye joint, just based off the word influence, they both have major influence on a lot. But I feel like um I'm gonna have to say Kanye in terms of influencing... Oh, we're going back to the other one. Yeah, I just, wanted, it just came back, back to me. I just want to make sure you're right. going back. <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on the point of me going back is nobody nice going back. No, no, no. We were going to go back good. regardless. Okay. Yeah, but go ahead. You good. It was Kanye and Pharrell. What happened? What are you saying now? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, that's that's probably the hardest, the hardest fucking question. I love both of them. Made records with both of them. Um, in terms of <laughs> influence of not only certain rappers and production... I would go with Kanye. Pharrell, mostly production. And by the way, Pharrell, some of Pharrell's verses are some of the hardest fucking well, verses in hip hop. Yeah. Make a mention to that, by the way. Because well, like, you do it every now and then. He just want to keep taking shots. At the end of the day. It's all good. Fuck it. You confuse it. everybody. Yeah, yeah, take a shot for no goddamn reason. Yeah, he confuses everybody. Yeah, he, he, that yeah, no, what I, we do. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think these are moments where it's like you talk about some shit that not a lot of people are talking about. That nigga Pharrell got some verses in this hip hop game, bro. He got some hard ass verses. Absolutely. Like, he a Gangster rapper on some uh, shit. One hundred percent. So I would say, uh, I, on, on that one, I, I would go with Kanye. All right, cool. Analog or digital? Mm. Analog, man. Analog. I gotta go with analog. No, hold crazy. on. Before he ain't, don't no, don't don't. You better relax. You got you, you can't talk. Relax. You can't I know where you going go. No, no. You go. Let's, let's go there. Say go why on. why analog first okay. before uh, he uh, says it because his, his okay. uh, look, you're not he, wrong. He, he, I'm not even gonna make you're eye contact wrong. with him. You're not wrong. Why, but his version of the same why thing analog is weird. Not weird, but it's not weird. 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 It's just not analog. Why you pick analog? Digital is trying to emulate what analog does. Analogs is ones and twos. There's electricity flowing through analog, and there's separation. Mm -hmm. Now, not to say that digital is trying to do that, but no, it has I not done that. that yet. It hasn't done that yet. You can't. There's not. You cannot emulate analog. There's nothing you can do. There's circuitry. There's energy. It picks up the energy in the right. fucking Absolutely, room. Yeah. Digital doesn't do that. No eye contact. contact. What, you said you were going to say that? Get the fuck no, out of here. <laughs> get, get the no. Fuck what I was going to say was, yes, it's actually, he said it in you the- You was not going to say the electricity of the monologue 2.5, <laughs> animators. You, he, you, he said it in a ludicrous way. I got to say it in a nori way. Of course. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, when you listen to music in the 90s where we couldn't send- but that's the email. That's different, man. That's we different. had to be in a two inch rail. We had the little. <laughs> the no, two inch rail is everything. We had no, little people. Legit. No, we had legit. little people You're as legit. a rail. It's legit. What as you're a saying. rail. That's we true. Had little people as a rail. This and we would bring them to Sound on Sound to Right Track Studio. And Luda couldn't send me his verse. Right. He had to be in the same exact studio with me. That's why analog is the shit. It's because I can... 100%. He's saying the person to person, which is true. That's person to me is the same. Is right. the best. Is the a reason, reason why you analog. listen, you look, you look like some of these dudes', dudes records, you're like... You could tell he was in Utah. <laughs> <laughs> and this thing was saying... Why you got to put Utah into the yeah. People in Utah right now. Like, what the fuck? What, 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 what do we do? He was, one nigga was in Utah, the other nigga was in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. With Borak. With Borak. Borak. <laughs> with Borak. And this nigga's... With such a yeah, very cool. He's there with a cow and bells and shit. <laughs> you can hear the bells. The cow's like, in the bells. Yeah. Yo. Like, you're, like, you're like, this is too fucking fun. Hey, I, I, I knew I would time. have fun when I came here. I know I'd have this much goddamn fun. Y'all <laughs> no, killing but, me. But this is this nigga. <laughs> no, but, but what I'm saying is, 
analog. That's the reason why analog. I just want to help iterate what he was just saying. No, you're not iterating anything he said. <laughs> you're giving your point, which is valid, 100% valid. My point valid. is fire. Mad valid. My point is fire. But I'm saying this, it has nothing to do with what no, he said. No, but analog is, that's the reason why I felt like you picked analog is because we had to be there. Like, Premier sending you a beat is totally different from Premier making that beat oh, for in your sure, face. for sure, absolutely. That's analog. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the reason why I felt like you picked it. And that's the reason why you picked his hair. Part of the reason. By the way, Ludacris is the only nigga to come here and pick his hair in drink chance. Let's make some noise for that. Thank you. Jamie sitting around and Jamie was like, listen, Jamie's our bartender. And Jamie said, you know what? I've been in Atlanta long enough. I can do this. She's like, I'm a hair tender too. She said, I could be a hair tender too. <laughs> and guess what? Where we at? Uh, your MTV Raps or Rap City? Ooh. I'm gonna say uh, Rap City, cause man, did y'all did y'all see them ludicrous in the booth? Rap City, oh, we, we got, guys, come oh, wait, on, wait, bro. Hold on, we, we got, got, we got it, we got you. Gotta go with Rap City, bro. Let's see if I can pull it up. Uh, this nigga been doing our interview the whole time. You got it, you got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 it's in the group chat. Remember, I was 18. It's I was on the, radio, yeah, yeah, man. Come on, man. Bing bong, bong, you got it. Yeah. It's in the group chat. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Dream Channel Sports. Let's do it with the flow. I see some fools ain't smart because yeah. they going against me. I've been rapping since Tyson Punch <laughs> on a whole nother level. I passed the elite. You could ask Red and Meth, I rip a Casio B. Ribbit. Dig it long as my click spit it. My Cadillac truck gets lower than six midgets. It's wood kitted, it, cost for six digits. I'll rip your eye out and play foosball with it. Girls see me, they holler and holler hard. So much money, I'm trying to buy college pod. Just play. I don't need payola. As long as my eyes stay redder than crayon crayolas. <laughs> yeah. Let me ask you something. We're going to keep going with the quick time, but... Have you ever felt that, that shit you, ain't quick? Ain't nothing quick about quick time. No, no, about no, no. It's it's slow time We've been here for the last slimes. hour doing yeah, quick yeah, time. Y'all yeah. need to change the name of that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For it's, sure. It's slow make time it a with all the slimes. Yeah. But um, have you ever felt that you never got your just due as a lyricist? Have you ever felt that way? I, I hear people say that, and to a degree, but when I said those moments, like me winning best rap album for, you know what I mean, which doesn't happen often, mm -hmm. you can... But you I feel win. like there's a you... certain amount of people that do feel that way, and then I feel like the real Luda fans, they you know, they do feel like I get, I get my. Because you could win your best rap album, but you know, like being the lyricist, like the Nas's and this, have you ever and felt I... that you didn't get that from that world, like the the pure purest hip hop side? To a degree, <laughs> but I guess what I'm saying is, as time passes and these things are standing the test of time, and people are going back and listening to shit and the repetition of it, they're starting to to say, yeah. "Wow!" Like so, there have been times where people are like. Oh, he don't get the, the lyrical recognition he deserved, but these things keep circulating and getting right. in people's faces and all the shit, different shit that I did. And so when people are reminded of that, then it kind of like, it, it, it makes them remember what the fuck that we got going on and what we've done in the past and the whole, you know, the catalog, the, the history, everything. Because you've always been a pure lyricist as far as I'm concerned. Thank you, man. And that's what I set out to do, for sure. Ooh. And, 100%. and again, we're going to get back into quick time, slow time. But <laughs> yeah. who were your inspirations lyricist-wise? Man, I had so many, but I think uh, definitely like Red Man. I said LL Cool J made me want to rap. Definitely Outkast. Um, I definitely want to say Common Sense is another motherfucker oh, that I yeah. love. That first Common Sense album was Absolutely. Yeah, so that's just to name a few. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The little one that shaped and molded me. That's fine. The next one. Oh, you don't got no quick time with slime. Nah, today, up on your today, phone. You hold today it is just me and my phone, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's okay. It's, it's okay with me. It's okay. I told you a long time ago. <laughs> right, where we at? Cash money or no limit? Damn. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Movements right there. Mm -hmm. Ah, they are. Shit. You want to say anything about them? I mean, shit. I, I'll be talking for days about the impact that they made, man. Wow. I've never been, like, at a loss for words because there's so much I want to say, but this will be the first time. There's so much I want to say about Cash. Like, that's a whole other drink chance. We're going to need a whole other hour. <laughs> but, I, like, just giving them praises on what they did, like, from an independent standpoint to independent labels that changed the whole fucking music industry, period. And for the South in general, like... Absolutely. The whole landscape of the industry. Whole landscape of the industry. And I know I already took my shot. I might be the only nigga to do this, answer the question after, but. Let's go. <laughs> because of the longevity, I'm going to go with cash money. But I'm cool. I already took the goddamn shot. We right. good. Right, right. You gave them both props and then 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just nah, I'm just them. being just being real, just being truthful. Eve or Missy? Eve or Missy? Well, only because earlier y'all heard me say there's definitely some Missy influence. Mm -hmm. uh, Missy has had me on like four records. Just from a, a standpoint of working more with Missy, because Eve has done some incredible things, I'm going to go with Missy on this one. <clears throat> Yo Gotti or Juicy J? Yo Gotti or Juicy J? Why'd y'all put those two together? Man? Look, look at Just because they're from Colombian and Dominican over there. Yeah, they, they they don't even know why they put it together. Just because they both from Memphis? Yeah. That's crazy, bro. I'm like, Ooh, and even, they don't even know why because from Memphis. Let's see the correlation. So you said that. Man, I love Yo Gotti. I think what that motherfucker is doing with his label is amazing, man. He need to get Yo more. Yo Gotti's one of the best artist Gotti. CEOs there. One of the best yeah. artist CEOs, but yeah. Juicy J was a part of my history and um, records that we've done together. Um, one of my favorite verses of all time is the This Bitch, That Ho with Project Pat. Mm. And because of our history, I'm, I'm going to go it's with, uh, Project with Pat, Juicy. Man. Yeah, Juicy J. Before we go on to the next question, is that something that you... Um, Something that I, I received being an artist CEO. Um, sometimes the opportunity presents itself. It presents itself for the crew, mm -hmm. presents itself for an individual, it presents itself for me. And it's always been kind of like uh, turmoil because always when I've had the opportunity, it's always leaned towards me as the artist right. to do that. Is, is that something that you ever? Um, Endured? I think everybody that's a boss endures that. Like, think about it. No matter where you at, you you got a job. Whoever your boss is, how many times have you criticized your boss? Mm -hmm. Some bosses deserve to be criticized for the wrong shit, but a lot of them right. are criticized because they just trying to do what's best for the fucking company. Company, in fact. So they're going to be, you know, but at the end of the day, no matter what I did, I guarantee you, I gave everybody opportunity. I always stood on business. Nobody can say any of that shit. When you talk about facts and doing the best that I could for every single person, fighting at Def right. Jam to get right. marketing budgets and everything right. Right. right, there was a time we had 15 different fucking artists. And so I'm getting pulled left and right doing everything. Get on niggas' mixtapes when they ask me to do that. I'm charging 250000 a fucking verse at this time. Of course I'm going to do this shit for free. Mixtapes, mm. whatever you need, what you need here, doing everything. So yes, I'm going to get criticized, but like I said earlier, I'm okay with taking these jabs. You know what I mean? That's what we do as bosses. You're going to get criticized. That's, that comes with the fucking territory. Right. You know what I mean? But listen, I can take it. I'm here. I'm good. Don't worry about it. But when I decide to jab right. back, just don't get mad. <laughs> That's, real. That's that Virgo shit right there. Go ahead. Go ahead, E. Wu Tang or NWA? Mm. Man, y'all motherfuckers, man. This is my favorite question of all time. I don't yeah, even think yeah, that question my... should be set up no, that I, way, bro. Y'all ask that, everybody that, that, this shit? Yeah, actually, yes, we yes. Did, that one, yes. Yes, I actually love it. And question. I never agree with that setup, to be honest. That, I, 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 don't, I don't either, but that's a good, that's such a good says, ass question. That's such a good be question. Quiet. I, there's no way I could choose between those two. Oh, God. Like two different coasts that like did the impact yeah. that both of they, they, they had. Generationally, they're different he's, he's too as well. Out of correct. this world. That impact he's is correct. out of this world. We're almost done. We see only this got how many goddamn more. shots I done took. Just letting y'all know. Yes. Niggas is out here stacking them up. Biz Marquis or ODB? That's the most random fucking matchup in Not the really. world. Not really. Very similar if you think about it. Uh, I, I thought about it and I don't think that they're similar. <laughs> uh, love Bismarck I'm going to go with ODB on that one. Right. He said, I you ever met ODB? He said, Hell yeah, I did, a, I did a record for ODB. Right. Yeah, yeah, ODB yeah. was wild. Wild as fuck. I don't think there was, it didn't get wilder. 100%. Yeah. ODB definitely digged up his nose and tried to give me a five. I was like, wait a minute. Wait, 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 say it again? Say it again? He went like this. I'm like, what's up, Noah? You're like, damn, nigga. You know, ODB? I, yeah. I think that face. nigga tried to and do the same thing to me, bro. <laughs> hey, but Bill Marquis had picking boogers. No, he had a song had a called Picking Boogers. I'm saying, he never picked his booger in front of me. That's what I'm trying to say. There's similar ODB people. Did it. I was like, what's There's up, nigga? Wow. Oh, shit. I was like, damn, nigga. Hold up. <laughs> wow. Rest in peace. Love him. Damn. All right, Death Row or Bad Boy? Mm. Death Row or Bad Boy? Damn, that's another hard one, man. Those catalogs. But for me personally, I was a definitely notorious B.I.G. and everything Bad Boy fan. But it's something about Dre's production and the consistency of it with all of those artists and the sonics mm. of what 
Death Row did that I have to give the edge to Death Row based on the production of Dr. Motherfucking Dre. Dre, Sonics was everything for Dr. Yeah. Dre. Like. And so, so that's a hard one because there were different, there was a Hitman, you got a bunch of different production. How oh, bad, bad boy. boy? Come on, okay. But what I'm saying is in terms of Death Row, that was pretty much all over Dr. Dre's envelope. Right. So in terms of what he did production-wise and beat-wise, I think that shit's unmatched. Right. <laughs> Dave Chappelle or Martin Lawrence? Ah, god damn. Love both of these guys, man. Dave Chappelle or Martin Lawrence? Shit, shit, shit. Are we talking stand up? Are we talking, talking sit? Are we talking about their television shit? Are we it talking could about be everything? Whatever the fuck. Dave Chappelle, man. Fuck. So I'm going to tell you, I'll take yeah, a shot. I'm going to take a shot. shot. Solo, solo. Chachi. Grew up on the comedians, man. Yes. Oof. We're almost done. Almost done. <laughs> it's all good, bro. I could take 50 more of these motherfuckers. Oh, we, we got 50 more. You want Let's go. No, no, no. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, we actually Hell got yeah. someone threw in another one in this one. <laughs> Chala said to ask him that? What? I got... Yeah. Uh, go with it. Yeah. But who's Chala? You mean Shaka? Yeah. <laughs> this guy says Shaka. He, he texts me Chala. Chala's my on, aunt. I, I that's bring, my, I that's bring literally it my aunt's finish, name. Chala. For this, for this quick time slime, I'll bring it. Bring what you about to say, Shaka or Jeff? Yo, what the fuck you about to do? Yeah. <laughs> that's fucked up if you about to do that. No, he brought in a question. He said that Shaka, but he said Chala. Chala's my aunt's uh, name. Yeah. She's a Cuban old lady, man. That's not, that's not Shaka, bro. Podcast or radio? I came from radio, man. You know what I mean? I, got Shit. Got I came from radio. I got no respect. No disrespect yeah. to drink champs and y'all, yeah, no, no. y'all little podcasts yeah, and shit y'all got around here. Yeah! God damn! <laughs> I'm fucking with you. <laughs> that was fine. Hell yeah. That was fine. I, like, I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. I like, you know whenever somebody uh, say little, they hating like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout little podcast yeah, out yeah, here. Yeah, that's yeah. Virgo shit right there. Right, for sure. Loyalty. Oh, no, no, hold up. We're going to hold that because okay. we got more questions that came after this. Okay. So Shaka asked Cameron verse. Or Sierra over overs? I know what he mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was on what means the world to, to me. That that remix. I was uh -huh. on Cameron's remix. Yep. And he's talking about the Sierra verse. Uh, if I had to choose between those, I got to go with that Sierra verse. That something that I get wild. Old school's coming down in a different color. Whip, whip, whip. Picture perfect. You might want to take a flick, 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 flick. Call up Jazzy. Tell him about that shit right there, boy. <laughs> Out of here. Got to go with that. But that, recently, that what means the world to me versus too, stupid too. But you recently bigged up Cameron. Absolutely. And, that motherfucker. Uh, what was that on Complex? Yeah. The okay. Fire Rock, that song right there, that verse he got on there, one of my favorite verses in hip hop. Oh, period. that was, yeah, that was, that was, that, was, that was, verse is crazy. That was so dope. You know, you know, a person of your stature. Yeah. To like say things like that, it's like so dope. It makes you so much of a dope a person to give your flowers. To someone else And he's just being honest That's the nah, thing though. He's being honest. being honest That's one of my favorite Fucking verses Go back and listen To that verse yeah. Now the way you broke it down I'm yeah. like God damn that verse is hard And I'm glad that I did that Because that verse Will go over a lot of people's heads Yeah He killed that shit right. And shout out to Cam and Mace and Killing shout it Shout out to Cam and Mace God damn it right no, no. Shout out to Cam and Mace man. So Alright we got Two more actually <laughs> It's all good Future or 21 Savage Damn that's a hard one too man Y'all both of these motherfuckers, man. Y'all yeah, Atlantis can't choose. Yeah, you know, Atlanta, Atlanta, we, Atlanta, we stick together. Oh, shit. Yeah. We, we drinking? <laughs> yeah, they stick together. All good. All right, now we do the last one. You know the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the only time I feel like it should. It's not a trick question. It's never been a trick. Trick. Twick, it's never been a trick question. question. Is loyalty or respect? Oh man. I heard somebody say something real profound about that before. Loyalty and respect. Because if you respect somebody, loyalty, loyal. yeah. ah, shit. I'm going to have to go with respect, man. As crazy as it sounds, because most people would say loyalty, but you got to really go to the definition of loyalty and the real definition of respect. Mm. Because the shit that me and T.I. went through, there was no loyalty. But, but there was respect. respect. Mm. Yeah, that's real. Mm. And so everything yeah. that we talked about in this industry, there are certain people that I thought was loyal to me, and I thought I was loyal to them and continue to stay loyal to them, but obviously they weren't loyal to me. Mm. And there is no more respect. Mm. So it's just, I'm going to have to go with respect over loyalty, believe yeah, it or not. That was, that was hard. Yeah. That was hard. Real. And I'm going to take the shot. Any fucking way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Great. Let me just ask you. Yep. 
Did the bitch ever move? <laughs> <laughs> let me wipe. Let me wipe the sweat from my forehead on that one. What is the inspiration be, 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 uh, behind yeah. her is, not is moving? Is my afro good? We, is my afro good? We, we, we wanted bitch. this bitch to move, bitch. Yeah. Did she ever move? That bitch never moved, bro. She never moved. Never moved. <laughs> never. <laughs> they ain't no taking a shot. Let's go. And me living from the south for 16 years. I understand that a bitch... Don't move up north either, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> I understand that a bitch could be a guy or a woman. That's how y'all talk about it. Oh, hell yeah. A hoe yeah. could be a guy or a woman. Come on, Yeah, man. yeah, I know. I know. Y'all different out here. Y'all yeah. different out here. So the bitch <laughs> never moved. Y'all don't have that up there either? No. But we're in the south. <laughs> yeah. Oh, say, but and guess what? As a comedian, how do you do this shit with this guy, man? <laughs> but, 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 let's shit. just be clear. You met different. All these years... You asked that bitch to move. Yeah, I did. And that motherfucker never moves. I'm going to be honest. I don't want her to move. That shit is a fucking she, movement. As long yeah. as she don't move, people going to continue to keep telling her to fucking move. Move, Yeah, bitch. the moment she moves, they go, they might stop. We don't she want her to go nowhere. They don't sing the song anymore. Right, come on, man. Let's that bitch needs to stay in her place. Let's, Let's take a shot, shot for not moving. I, the Statue of Liberty. Y'all didn't even watch me. I took my shot already. Yeah, Give on. me another one. Jamie, 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 go. Jamie, got that. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Take the thing. All right, come on. All right, come on. All good. How the fuck did you find that shot for him? Jamie, double up on me. This motherfucker got reserved shots on Jamie, double. Okay. An extra clip of shots and shit over there. So she never moved. Nah, she never moved, bro. But that is the most, I don't want to say, like, it's not angry song, but like, if you need to <laughs> pump yourself up, that's, that's like, that started mosh pits, let's be honest. It was a oh, good, it still does. It, it's a mosh pit We did the shit starter. last night, I'm telling you. We got a show in Miami tonight, we had one in Tampa last night. That motherfucking song, bro, I don't even have to say shit. You just hold the mic out to the crowd. How is that fair if I'm the one getting paid right. and the crowd is the one that paid and these motherfuckers are saying, all I have to do is stand there. That's it. That's a beautiful thing. I just stand there. That is the greatest that is record of all time. Greatest, that is greatest record of all time. Greatest okay. record of all time. Okay. KLC made this, right? Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Baton Beast Rouge. by the pound. Yeah. It's Beats by the Pound, right? They, oh. they, he he lives in Baton Rouge. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know that. Beats yeah. by the Pound. I'm hip hop too. I don't know if you know wow. that. Wow. I did not know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you know yeah. I, mean? I, I ain't Google that or nothing. I bet you did Google that. No, because they, oh, they, they no, were front on me. Nah, I think you Googled it, <laughs> bro. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah he, knew, he had that one under his belt. Yeah, he had that one. No, no, no. Yeah, he did. Because I couldn't get a chaos. No, that's amazing. What? You tried to get one? Oh, you wanted one at that time? Yes, motherfucker. After that. After that. No, I'm probably before. Nah, you was early on it. You was early on all those joints. I'm going to be honest. Cash money and no limit was the hardest people to get at at one yeah, point. 100%. Both of them. It was no limit first. And then Master P, he had one line. I'm going to be honest. What? People who really know this, it was one line to no limit records. And the same person will answer the phone. They'll be like, hello. <laughs> They'll be like, yeah, we're going to connect you. And it'd be the same dude Answering the phone like, yeah, Master Peace is gonna come up. Like, nigga, I know your voice is sick. <laughs> I got 30,000 for juvenile. Can I, can I do that? They wouldn't fuck with me. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna be honest. When cash money came, they were, they were different. Yeah. Man, listen, I was at the radio station at this time. Uh -huh. It was unheard of, bro, to be an independent company. And they had company. a box and Jabos. And, and shit was getting played on the radio. Independent, yeah. And, and the, the units they moved, like you were saying, just in Texas and Louisiana alone, mm -hmm. they didn't need nobody else. They didn't need them. Same thing with No Limit. Right. Yeah, I'm saying, y'all saying, you're not saying that, that No Limit didn't have that e as well. I just no, said, no, so, same with No Limit. No, 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 no you're saying, thing. but he, I mean... Okay, what you... Because No Limit was doing the same thing. Agreed. I think No Limit started doing it, it, but what I'm trying to say was, I guess they were ready for No Limit. They weren't ready for Cash Money. Like, Cash Money was a totally different type of thing. Like, Puerto Ricans put me on the Cash Money. And that means... <laughs> <laughs> that means that there's no Puerto Ricans with gold fronts in their mouth. I know a lot of them. Now. No, then. Because you, you, was, you was out here. What the fuck? I was in New York. There was no Puerto Rican. Like, we had frames. Like, you're talking about people in New York telling you about cash money. 
No, I'm talking about Cash Money telling me about Cash Money. I'm talking about when I went to, I actually, this is how, this is how I discovered Cash Money. Okay, let me just, there was a person on our label called Skull Duggery. Skull Duggery was I remember No Skull Limit Duggery. Records. Yeah, yeah. Skull Duggery was no on limit. Penalty. Yes, he's on Penalty. Yeah. We went to see Skull Duggery with the intentions to meet Mia X. Shut to up, meet Mia Silk X. the Shaka. She's so dope. To meet. Hell yeah. C Murder. To meet these guys, we had no luck. They were so, it was a different type of thing. It's the first time I seen mausoleums, the funeral, what's that shit called? The graveyards? Yeah. These, these motherfuckers, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Boom. Yeah, they couldn't put it underground, yeah. Sat there, and there's this Puerto Rican girl. She had gold fronts in her mouth. You think that's <laughs> novel? Oh, let me finish. <laughs> He, he messes with you all the time. Like, yeah, it does. Like, yeah. You're used to. This is beautiful. Yeah. And she said to me, you know, no limit is one thing, but you need to get on that cash, man. <laughs> and I went, and that's how I discovered, you want to be home. And I went, juvenile record, and I went to Angie Martinez's show, and I kept singing that shit. And that's how Jay Z got on Juvenile's record. And Juvenile admitted. But you saying because of you? Of course, it's because of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know this. To be honest, it's because of me. Of course, Juvenile admitted it. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Buddy. Juvenile, see, Juvenile hold said that baby did not know who Jay Z was. I want that they're local. Okay, we never on. had this story legitimately said. What are you talking about? Juvenile co-signed it. What the fuck are you talking no, about? No, you've never oh, said this story fully through. Said, oh, the, yeah, the, the, hot the, remix. How no, no, how you put him on to him. You've never said this f story fully through. Did I put Jay-Z on? Yeah. No, 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 no. Jay-Z got caught on, put on to him. I'm, that, that, I kind of went too far with that oh. part. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of went too far with that part. But what I'm saying Come is... Come on, guy. No, what I'm saying is I went to New Orleans to, to, to meet No Limit. Right. This Puerto Rican girl told me about cash money, and that's how I got put on the cash money. Mm. And, uh, and the moral of the story is... <laughs> the more of the story you is, between I Money was the Luke? first New York person to accept the South. David Banner will say it. Yep. Ludacris should say well, it. David Banner is always. Ludacris every, should say it. <laughs> everybody, I was the first. Ludacris should say it. I should say Luda, it. Right I mean, will you uh, sign this contract? I'm gonna take a shot. <laughs> take a shot. <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm just fucking with you. Right? No, 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 let me tell you oh, something. Shit, I gotta no, take a shot. No, definitely. Then. You could, you could feel it in his heart. It, it, even if it's not true, Listen, it, it's true. It's no, 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 it's true. No, it's no, 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 Look, look at this look at discography. Yeah. <laughs> Little Wayne's first feature with a New Skull York Duggery. person. Skullduggery. 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 Little Wayne's True. first feature with a New York artist. No, it's fact. It's who? Noriega. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Dominicans in the background. I'm going to keep going. You was on Shauna Remix. Shauna Verse. You was on Shauna Remix. I keep going. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Oh, 3 6 Mafia. Okay. Yeah, no, it's facts. no, it's facts. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Are we good then? Okay. This Everybody's is why we good. have okay. drink champs. Okay, okay. It's okay. actually why we have drink champs. Because I was the first he was New York with Miami nigga. people. I was the first New York nigga coming to the South, and I was like, okay, these niggas just got an accent. They're the whoa, same whoa, exact. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, chill. Let That's me weird. They just have They're the same exact people as us. It just got an accent. <laughs> but guess what? I got an accent to y'all. <laughs> Nah, I'm with you. I got an accent to y'all. You jogging my memory. I, I'm yeah. glad to know this. I'm going to know some of To this day, somebody, I'll say something. They'll be like, you from New York. <laughs> I, I'm in Dubai. Drinking Habigi. Habigi. Yep. Guys, the biggest real estate guy in the world turns to me and says, you're from New York. Of course. From New York, my accent is not going nowhere. But let's reiterate to what I'm saying. Let's get back to make it make sense. I was the first person to accept the South, from Juvenile to Little Wayne to to, to 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 people. I I actually was the first person to throw money from New York in a strip club. That was corny to us. Gentlemen's club, players' club, all that shit was corny to us. That was whack to us. You threw the money. Let's go. It was whack to us. Let me just tell you something. It was a it was a rule in New York. You don't take a shit in a strip club. 
That was a rule. You don't eat in the strip club. Oh, yeah, that, I, I still and don't like that And you don't like get lap rule. dances. And you don't get lap dances in the strip club. New York was militant motherfuckers. I moved to Miami. I broke all three of those rules in the first three days. You <laughs> ate shit and eat in the first three days. <laughs> I ate. I shitted And you threw money And I threw motherfucking money and Sorry, I'm so sorry huh? Okay Okay oh. Toronto? Alright All right. So the bitch never moved We, we established that <laughs> Let's talk about money maker with Pharrell Ooh, yeah Money maker That's a strip God club damn. That's a strip club And I got a, um, a, a Grammy for that too Just, just the single But yeah, nah he was, Yeah, yeah In the same year yeah, strip club Grammys. Yeah, no, I'm only saying that because, like, out of all those years I was losing, that year I, I, I racked up you on racked the fucking up. thing. God yeah. Damn it. But no, again, for real, man, Moneymaker, that shit right there went number one on the Billboard charts. It's still, you know, extremely relevant to this day. And, man, I'm just thankful for Pharrell for giving me so many fucking hits and us working together. Mm -hmm. And now I'm. Feeling bad that I chose Kanye over my brother for real. Yeah. God damn. You want, I'm like, we don't, you want to reverse you, the wait, shot? Wait, I, I oh, no, kind of want some Grammys with Kanye, too. Let's just be clear. You're not this getting no bad. more Louis exclusive. I know, right? It's, it's a wrap. God damn. <laughs> fucking with you. Nah, I know. I'm fucking with you. Let's go. <laughs> nah. No, nah, but that, that, hold on. Let's take a shot for it. Fuck it. We're taking Dude, a I'm, shot for something? I'm already. I'm over here drinking my drink. No, I don't just, even need the shot. Oh, shit. I got it. He got it. For sure. Cheers, y'all. Cheers, man. What you drinking over there, bro? You want some of this? Try it here. I don't mix, my brother. Not, not right now. <laughs> it's Mama that, was, that was a 20 year old Luda. Thank, I'm the drinking the same the shit all night. You, Fuck yo, that. thank you, Luda, for being black, black. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let me drink some. 100%. So many people come on this show and they, they'll, they'll mix these drinks. No, and I, I don't that. respect that. Fuck that. I'm going to stick to what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> 20 days sober, and then this motherfucker is here. Let's give a round of applause for this motherfucker. 20 days sober. He's being funny. Yeah, I'm I not being funny. I got more. <laughs> okay. How low? Yeah, how low can you go? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Hold on, can he say it, can he say it one more time? No. <laughs> yeah, did, um, T minus out of Toronto. He works with J Cole a lot now. He produced that How Low, and at that stage in my career, to make a statement with a new producer and come out with a fucking hit, mm. it, it means something because you constantly have to prove yourself over and over again. Mm. So motherfuckers is like, it's like, okay, if you ain't got a, a Pharrell beat or if you ain't got a Kanye beat or if you ain't got a Timbaland beat and it just come out the gate like that, mm. it meant everything and that shit went to the top of the charts too. So that was a moment. And to this day, the women go low whenever we goddamn perform and we like to see it. Mm. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> for real, for real. I think we should make some noise for that. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Why are you picking these particular records? I'm curious. Uh, cause I'm just fucking with you. He's a very particular guy with these records. Yes. It's all and good. now I want to I wanna go, because we talked about fantasy earlier. But here's where I want to go. Making the record. Is this a record that you said to yourself... This is gonna break me out into the mainstream, or this is a record I'm just making for the strip club. No, it's crazy you asked that because Organized Noise did the flip side of that, which was Game Got Switched. Ooh. And so it was between What's Your Fantasy and Game Got Switched. And I like it was hard for me to choose, but I just felt like What's Your Fantasy didn't sound like anything that was out at that it, time. We didn't know where you was from. Yeah, so I rolled the dice, we man. You were from Alaska. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, we it's like, close yeah. to Atlanta. No, it didn't. Like, like, no, no, I'm just saying, you sounded. So everywhere. No, I appreciate that. I don't want to use the word generic, but you sounded like you was from New York because of the lyrics, but then you was from Atlanta because mm -hmm. of the vernacular, and then you was from kind of like the West Coast because you was making it all count together, but then you was from everywhere. The vernacular. I like that. I like oh, that. Yeah, you, uh, I, he said you were an alien. alien. Yeah. yeah, it was like you was an alien. Thank you, man. No, it comes a time. And that's and, dope. Yeah, it comes a time in every artist's life where you got to, it's risk, risk. Like, you got to just... Put everything on the fucking line, and that was that right. moment for me. And that that record changed my fucking life, man. Fantasy, yeah. And I, and I, we were this close to choosing "Game Got Switch," which is still on back for the first time album. Right. But that particular song right there set it off. And like we talked about earlier, after that was fucking "Throw Them Bowls," and the rest is history. Those two records together just set the tone. Right. And then it, you know the sophomore jinx came around. You got to go to word of mouth, and hold we on, we on, passed that back. test like it ain't nothing. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Because yeah. back for the first time, why'd you even pick that? 
The name? For the first time, like... Because I had already put the album out independently to a degree, so I did the shit on my own. So, so when we signed with Def Jam, time. we kind of repackaged it. We took a couple songs off and added the Pharrell, the Throw Them Bowls, and like two other songs. Mm. So basically, I was back for the first fucking time. All right. Back for the people that knew the old record and new time for all the new individuals around the world that's just hearing it. Goddamn, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in word of this... Um, Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Yeah, so man, fucking back for the first time, three times platinum, word of mouth, almost four times platinum, chicken and beer, three times. It's just the, the list goes on and on. But word of mouth is the biggest selling record of all of my albums. And I think we got nine or ten at this point. I've damn near lost count. But the, the word of mouth shit, Move Bitch was on there. And we just we just spoke about that. That's a move, and it's it's dirty. Yeah. Dirty with it. Yeah. And <laughs> Yo, this is beautiful, man. It is, man. Shit. Is I'm feeling man. great. Um, if I didn't have a show to go to, I'd stay here all goddamn yeah, night. Yeah, no, man. No, no. I'm loving stay this shit. All day. No, but, Next time, but I'm, I'm a, I ain't gonna have shit after. I got you covered. No, but but it's so beautiful because you deserve these flowers. Thank you, bro. You earned these More flowers. More than deserve them. Yes. Thank you, um, thank you, thank you. And your story has to be told because <clears throat> so many people think that it starts from being a drug dealer. It starts from being a street dude. It starts from being a person that, that shoots somebody or a person or whatever. But yeah. you took the opportunity to just work at a radio station. See <laughs> exactly where you want to be and apply that. 100, yep. And a lot of people need to understand that. They need to understand because... That's like, we got three fucking occupations in the hood. Drug dealer, basketball player, yeah, rapper. rapper. Yep. But what I'm trying to say is, um, our industry has to be saluted more. We just recently seen each other, you, you said, in Leo Combs. Hell yeah. Leo Combs is one of the best CEOs who's ever held me down. There's people who have their... Uh, say about Leo, I'm not one of them. I see Leo's life in my life being all positivity. Mm -hmm. How's Leo's life reflected you? He was the CEO, like you said, at the same time. We were both artists at the same time. It's in terms of how he executed, thought he was one of the best to ever do it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Like, his strategy, him putting together the team that he put together, how they maneuvered the industry, just very intelligent, right. in a very intelligent way, and uh, that was that was definitely my experience. I loved what he did, and in terms of for Def Jam and the history of Def Jam and the legacy of Def Jam, shit was pretty amazing. Hell yeah, it's a moment I, in I, time. I respect the shit out of Leo. Call. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now you got your name, Ludacris. Uh, do they? You want me to? You can ask. You could ask. You, that? you could ask. No, I'm talking about for camera. Do one of them have to ask me that? Yeah. Question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even ask you why do you ask me why he wants you. No, I'm good. We're idiots. Nah, that's the way. Yeah, yeah. I got you. The people in the back could ask. Oh, they can. Oh, do that shit one more time. My bad. I was like, I don't think I had to do it. I got you. I got you. They could ask. Yeah. Y'all should keep that, by the way. That's hard. Yeah, hell yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh yeah. How you got your name Ludacris? Um, I got my name Ludacris. It was just me being <laughs> me being creative. My first name is Chris, and uh -huh. like we spoke about, if you look up Ludacris in the dictionary, uh -huh. it means wild, ridiculous, beyond uh -huh. crazy. When you think about my lyricism, when you think about my videos, my visuals, all of that shit entails the word Ludacris, and then I just spelled it the way I wanted to spell it. That's how I got the name. So just being creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about my chick bag. My Chick Bad, another time, same album as How Low, and taking a producer that was definitely well-known within the Midwest in Chicago, Traxter. But, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of putting him onto an even bigger audience and making a hit song with him, that was another moment. With Nicki? With Nicki, absolutely. How did it's that dope. happen? It was dope. She was in Atlanta at the time. I believe she was managed by De Deborah Andy. Deb. Yep, same with, uh, as Gucci Mane and... Um, Somehow we got together and she was just like, she loved the track and got on that motherfucker, man. No. The rest is history. But wow. She was living in Atlanta at that time. This is right, right when she got started. Wow. Hell yeah. Do you think that's, that, that's true? Like uh, most New York artists got to come to Atlanta to get on? I don't think that. Uh, like I love what... Thank you. Y'all are, are counting um, 
Conway the Machine and Benny and all them as New York. That's New York, right? Yeah, that is New York. Conway. Yeah. And Benny um the I know they're from yeah. Buffalo. I'm they're just saying Buffalo. that. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so that. So no, nah, they didn't have to come to Atlanta to do shit. Yeah, them motherfuckers are killing shit. I love them. Because it's like y'all Why, they're Augusta. saying that? Who's saying that? Shit, he the one that asked the question. I didn't say the shit. I, no, I'm trying um, to clarify what he said. No, no. I don't know what the fuck going on. A lot of people said that, you know, for a, a New York artists to get on sometimes, they have to come outside of New York and go to Atlanta. I mean, I would say that for any artist in their city, to, you might have to go outside your city to make things happen. Yeah, I agree. Right, but my point is that them niggas like Conway and Benny and uh, West they Side didn't Gun, to they didn't have to go yeah. nowhere. Nah. Yeah. And Which they, is uh, hell. And what they they've done shit. is they, they've proven a lot of things. Right. Have you connected so with them yet? The theory. Con- I was on a record with Conway. Oh, go really? check that shit out. Shit, oh, crazy. Hi. Me, Conway, the machine, and Jid, J I D. Oh, Jesus. Shit, yeah. stupid. Too. Shout out to Griselda, man. Hey, Griselda is crazy. Hey, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of Griselda, for sure. How fucking yeah. Let's talk about Roll Out. Roll out was that was doom, on that word of doom, mouth doom, album. Doom, that, doom. Okay, that was the first single, so it goes into Timbaland and everything I was talking about. But that set it off, and then Move Bitch was the last single on there. But that video with the big ass head, it's it's crazy because we did that video, and the video didn't look good at all before we came up with the concept of trying to make a big a big ass head. Def Jam was ready to scrap the whole video because what it looked like before, we just didn't really get anything from it, and so. Me and Shaka had the idea of doing this, you know, th- this post effect and making my like a bobblehead. And literally, every once everybody saw that shit, they was like, "That's it, we uh, good." And mm-hmm. the rest is fucking history because people love that video to this day. That's yeah, where the bobblehead gets. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah. God damn it. And some other artists that have done the same thing in their videos. You should check that out. Just go do your research. The who, internet can who, check who that. Who thinks? Uh, um, you think you top five of the best videos in? the Hell yeah, 100%. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, top five videos. You know, yeah. you got to put Missy in there. You got to put Busta in there. Who the other two are, I don't know. But I'm in that motherfucking top five. Ain't no, yeah. I didn't have to say I'm normal number one. I ain't going to lie, you top three. You said top, top three. Five. I think, I, I I appreciate really think it's you, Busta, and Missy. I really do. No, I yeah. think so too. Yeah. Thank you, man. Because God bless me. Um, There's other people who, who get in that category, but it's money-wise. It's not creepy. Creativity wise, right? Did I, do I make sense? Yeah, yeah you know absolutely. what I'm saying. Like yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. can see them be be put in that space, but because they put the they funds had, in, they it, put the funds in. You but creativity, tell just creativity, you can do a creative video for cheap right. and still <laughs> be and still be better. Facts, one hundred percent. And all yeah. the money that you put into it. Yep, mm-hmm. yep. I killed that. I feel like I killed that. Let's make some noise. <laughs> The fuck? That Childish Gambino video is one of the best videos I've seen, like, in the last five years, though. The, what's the shit called? The, um, this is America? Oh, this is America. I love I that shit. I can tell he ain't wearing no deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you I can look at the Childish video. Childish Gambino, like, you saying? This Childish nigga Gambino. didn't wear no, no degree. No, fucking videos on He man. wasn't, he wasn't exactly. sure so at all. <laughs> I can look and say this, this motherfucker nah, is... Nah. From his nappy, nah. chest hairs... But, uh, that he's, nigga didn't wear no he's deodorant. On the level, bro. Like, and he really is. On I the love level. that he's video. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm yeah. just saying he ain't wearing no deodorant. <laughs> he's so that day. He's ill though, bro. Out. Homie's That's dope, my nigga. Man. Charles yeah, Gambino. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I'm sorry, I went too far. I don't think he's your friend at all. <laughs> all right. I know a lot of stinky niggas. <laughs> For you to say that shit. <laughs> Damn. He said I know a lot of stinky niggas. There's a lot of stinky. <laughs> they my friends. I don't think he's your friend at all. Huh. Not even 1.5% of this. You can look at that video. You can't tell he ain't wearing no deodorant. He was like this. <laughs> I think he wore a little bit of deodorant. Yo, he, wore the, he, we, he wore the invisible That stick. is no have degree y'all gone move. on tour with this shit? Y'all motherfuckers need to go on tour. <laughs> no, no, no. That is, I, I don't think we would. That is, I'm not tour. sure a move. Nobody wants to see this shit. I'm not sure. Like, we, he's like, we don't even this think is America. We, no, it's not. We don't even know if this makes Wipe sense. Wipe up. This is a live show, bro. Y'all got to do this shit, man. I went too far. I went too far. You definitely went too far. All right, cool. Go ahead. What is Ross text? We don't have quick time with Simon no more. What are you talking about? Def Jam Vendetta. <laughs> Def Jam Vendetta. Ah. We was beating niggas up. Yeah, we was. We was beating niggas the fuck up. I've been, I've been trying to work out my whole life to get my stature to the way it is in fucking yeah. Def Jam Vendetta. Did you put on the tight suit to, to get your shit together? What do you mean? Your stature? Uh, like, I put on no, the tight suit. The long, oh, yeah. You're talking about for the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I truly yeah. don't remember that. That's not a cop out. I don't remember putting on no tight suits. They made I, you put on a fucking tight suit? I ain't gonna lie. God damn. I, I made sure no one filmed me, too. I was like, you make sure. <laughs> yeah, he had tights on. You don't know I don't that? remember that shit, bro. Are we going there? He had these tights. And he had like a cape. Yeah. You remember? Did you get your but, royalties? 
No. <laughs> you got word to you from Def Jam and Nella? We all, yeah, we supposed to get some money. You got some money owed to you, bro. Yeah, you got to nah, get some money. Nah, nah, I got some up front. I was an upfront nigga back then. <laughs> <laughs> he said, give it to me right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'll see you later. I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah. This, is my, this is my brother. Hey, I'm going to be honest. He's like, what if you give me that? <laughs> That's hilarious. Dead arm Nori. Yeah. I done this. You hit, punched him in the face? I hit everybody. Yeah. I, did, I got You on both games? One and two? I don't know. That's a good ass. I don't remember two. Chaga, I don't remember being two. one and two, Chaga? Uh, I think just it was one. just one. Damn. Uh, you, yeah. You did one just out. come out? Of, oh, I mean, you Ja two, Rule, two, the second one. Did, did two come out not too long after one? Or that shit just came? Oh, yeah. He Ja Rule no The same shit. Yeah, we didn't know. You did Ja Rule, but Ja Rule did the Fast and Furious. Damn. Jesus, he opted That's out. fucked up, man. I might have took that bag. The second you took his bag? No, not his bag. Whose bag did you take? No, I took my bag. Cause the Vendetta bag. The Vendetta. Fight for New York, and I fought for Vendetta. Yeah, you fought for all that. I love oh, it. I That's fought what you're supposed to do. It. Yeah, goddammit. Yeah, man. Well, Fast and Furious is beautiful. It is. Do you Fast get catering? Hey, How's yo, your yeah. trailer look? the best fucking catering in the world. You would be surprised. That shit. Your trailer. Is Describe your trailer. You, this shit is online. Like, go, go to my Instagram. But the trailer is... A fucking duplex. It's like duplex trailers. It, some shit that you didn't even know existed in the trailer world, and it's just it's stupid. Yeah, they got duplex trailers out, bro. You can't time out, bro. You can't time out for what? Workout trailers. Because I went to um. Hold on, call the time out again before. You. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was in tour in Europe, and I had the Ice Spice. Um, no, not Ice Spice. Was it was a spice nice lady? Spice Girls. I had the Spice Girls tour bus. Nice lady. And I had the um spiral staircase. In the bus. Kind of Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, shit like that. 100%. They got to listen. When you're dealing with a, a $300 million budget, they pull out all the stops. When it comes yeah. to the trailers, when it comes to. Million dollar bus. Nah, yeah. when it comes to craft <laughs> services, it's a whole different. $300 million bus? Yeah, I didn't have that. Good. $300 million budget on the movie. Can we talk about that? Oh, okay, okay. Now, a lot of that go, you know, some of that shit goes to the, the craft bus. services, right. the catering, all that shit. Nah, it's like. It's what's fucked up is going from Fast and Furious set to an independent set after that. That's what's fucked so up. Now, what's the independent set you, you went to? How do you adjust your mindset for that? Yeah, yeah. What's the independent set you, you went to? You don't. That shit just happens. Not like, the crew, you not team I'm saying Justin. But you have went, to adjust. I went from too Fast and Furious to like... Um, to not Fast yeah, at all, not Furious right, at all. To something totally different. <laughs> what, so you get what? spoiled as fuck and then you got to go to something else and you're like, where's all, where's my shit? Uh, it's like, you almost like, how did I sign on to do this this independent movie? Like, like, like Ludo walked in it was like, give me a girl. I just wanted to tip up, up. Yeah. Oh, it's not we fast had it. She's our bartender. <laughs> we it's not it fast and furious. Look, Jamie no, was listen. ready to help. <laughs> this shit is like being at a five star resort on set with yeah. Fast and Furious. It's the, most, it's the most amazing thing. Ja Rule, I've we love you. This shit, yeah. But you should have went to work that day. <laughs> ja Rule should have. <laughs> oh, shit. What do you want me to do? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, re I read it in Google. I, th I feel like Ja Rule better than Google, too. You should call Ja Rule and ask him. Oh, you want to call Ja Rule? Oh, give him a call. Let's just, let's just, let's just see hey, how he feels. talk about it. I've seen Ja. Give him a call. Give him a call. I think it's, it's the only times. fair right. thing to do. Right. What do we do? What do we do? Shaka, FaceTime or regular? FaceTime. No, FaceTime him. FaceTime him. Come on. Oh, you got to hit him? Yeah. yeah. Yo, this is great, because I want to hear what this nigga has to say. Yeah, call him. I, I want to hear what he has to say. This is phenomenal right now. I mean, it's it's only it's only right. This guy knows him. Let's go. Yeah, you got to FaceTime. Let's see. This is gonna be. I mean, before you just tell him what you're doing, just don't be a dick. No, don't tell him shit. Just ask that nigga. No, no, be, don't be a dick. <laughs> shit. Don't be a dick. We tell want the real reaction. Doing. No, like shit. Let the cameras roll. They can fuck that. What is that nigga doing right now, bro? This nigga, he with Logan Paul right now. Nah, he probably knows you're calling him on. <laughs> Why did you say he was Logan Paul? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a piss. Cause Logan you Paul him. won last night, right? Yeah. He knocked the nigga out. That's not the same nigga. <laughs> Yo, did you ever want to box like your pops? Nah. No. Uh uh. But he taught you how to box. No, he never taught me shit. What? My father's a foul nigga. Damn. But <laughs> that nigga yeah. was a phenomenal boxer though. Yeah, he was a phenomenal boxer, but I was not. I got um, you. Okay. That Ja Rule didn't answer. We don't have no plan B, right? Because the outtakes. Holy moly, guacamole. DJ, ever, he done went to the fucking bathroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, keep yeah. the camera rolling. Yeah, that's all we do. That's all we great. do. That's all we do. Because you know why? Two hour goddamn uh -huh. drink champ. <laughs> and goddamn it, Shaka, I just want to say something. And I know it's 
Shaka is one of the best people I've ever met. One of the best human beings on human feet. Yeah. Not not one of the best managers or yeah. best you know people in the industry. Best people. Period. Yeah. He's a very straight up guy. He's a very straightforward person. Yeah, so, uh, that shit. Yeah, I wanted to give Shaka yeah, his flowers. Absolutely. Man. You know what I mean? 100%. Because, and I want to say something to all of us that's here. Um, we, live in a, we live in a great society. We live in a great thing that we're, we're, we're all perishing from. We're all benefiting from. But the thing is, everyone in this world is not benefiting from that. Same thing. So there's always going to be vultures. And I, you know, big up to Kanye and um, Tyler Allison for naming the album Vultures. Mm -hmm. But in real life, vultures is not something friendly. There's real vultures out here. Oh, there's real people yeah. that yeah. don't want to work for what they can get and they want to just take. And it's terrible because it's us taking from us. And that just shouldn't exist. Like, we work so hard. You know what DMX sat down with me one day? And DMX said to me, Nori, I stopped dissing whack rappers. I asked him. I said, well, that's kind of crazy. Like, wh why would you just say that? And DMX said to me, because every whack rapper who I think is whack saves 16 families. Mm. And that 16 families saves another 16 families. Wow. That's deep. This was on Drink Champs. And I was like, holy moly guacamole. And that's what I kind of want to do, Luda, is it's about time we praise our, each other. Hell yeah. It's about time we say to each other, yo, man, what we did and what we're doing and we're continuing to be successful for should be saluted. Yeah. It should be recommended. It should be... It, 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 it should be in the forefront of what life is because no one else is going to give it to us. And I like to say, I don't like to say I'm hip hop. And when I say I'm hip hop, what I mean is that's my religion. That's my race. That's our religion. Eh? Yes, that's our way because Every, everything you're saying is the only reason I interrupted the natural flow of things with what I said earlier mm. because of what you're saying right now. Yeah, it's, it's somebody got to be the bigger person in all yes. that shit. Like you know what yes. I'm saying? But go ahead, sorry. sorry. Yes, and, and 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 that's why I'm so happy that you're here. Is because hip hop fifty is great. It is. Yep. But hip hop one thousand is even better. <laughs> I want I want your kids' kids, my kids' kids, your kids' kids, her kids' kids, his kids' kids, everyone to to grow up through that same sentiment. You you couldn't have said it better. We talk, we talking about kids. We talking about family. We talking about hip hop and all this shit. Mm -hmm. I was with RZA uh, a couple years back, and I don't know. We was just shooting the shit because I'm such a Wu Tang fan, mm -hmm. and I was asking him a bunch of questions. And along the line of questioning, somehow I asked him. We were talking about families, and I was like, how many kids you got? And that nigga, he's, he looked like I asked him a crazy question. That nigga said, oh, shit, man, you know, hip-hop. <laughs> that was that nigga's answer. That that's was the number. Crazy. That's the number. The answer was hip-hop. I'm like, still answering like, that The way. whole hip-hop <laughs> is his children? That nigga looked at me and said, that was the, I don't know what it meant. He, he never gave me an answer <laughs> legitimately. I just said, how many kids you got? That nigga looked at me and said, shit, you know, hip-hop. That could have meant Wu Tang Nine. No, that could be. That's mean exactly that what it could have meant. I don't know what it means. Yes. It's it's what the nigga said, hip hop bro. is his children. Like mm. everything that's been inspired by them. Have y'all had Rizzo on here? Nah, we. Need you when you what? get him on here, please We've ask that nigga what hip hop means. Yeah, and, we got. And by it. the way, I've now we need Rizzo. Absolutely, I've hang out with Rizzo, and Rizzo is probably he wants to come and drink with us so bad. He wants to out drink us though. We're not trying to I feel to like I'm out drinking y'all right now. Yeah. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna oh, lie. Wait, 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 wait. Maluda, Maluda. Hey, Recently, how many, hey, hey, how many artists, let me ask my people over here, how many yeah. artists have out drank the Drink Champs hosts? How many? This is, who, the motherfuckers went like this. Who's one? Who's one? Nobody really I'd like to go on the it. record as being the first artist to go, out drink go, go. the Drink Champs hosts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. But Luda, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> we was on tour together, me and you. 
Man, it's these it's old, it's old Def Jam stories are the greatest it's a fucking stories it's a of life. Please yeah. tell them because I like it. It's those a beautiful stories. story. And um, we're in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> this, is on, yeah. this is documented it's, on MTV. It's by documented the way. on MTV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luda is you're, you're one of my favorite people I just want to just come And just say hi to you I have no idea This guy's in there He's He's from Queens Who is? You The guy that I slammed He's oh. you, You're supposed to lead up to that guy. Oh, go, 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 go ahead Well that guy he, He's sitting there He's like Lost Boys don't show me no love Akinelli don't show me no love Mob Deep don't show me no love Is he's someone from, telling you this? Yes, I don't know Luda's filming his fucking my diary. I'm wait, just wait, going. Luda's telling you this or no? This is, this is somebody from Queens okay, telling okay. me that he doesn't get no love. Okay, but I'm there to see Luda, and I'm just like, hey, what's up, brother? And this guy's like, I'm like, I'm gonna show him some love. <laughs> so I just I took care of every busy jury yeah, I had on. That's why I asked you, I, did your dad teach you how to box? <laughs> your ass, no, no, that was body wrestling. slamming, motherfucker. That was, that was I know it wasn't, well, but you know, his dad is a boxer. I know, yes, but that's what yes. I'm saying. He a fighting motherfucker. Yeah, a lot no, of people don't know that shit. He and was, I took it off, and I had no idea. But we and body Luda, slammed the I shit body out of him. Thing. And yeah. Luda said, "Tell him where you're from, nigga." <laughs> <laughs> Luda, Luda understood the assignment. <laughs> he body slammed him and power bombed this nigga all in one. It was the craziest shit I've ever seen. You put and, some power behind that body. And slam, by the too. way, he cannot. Be mad because you didn't hold he back. hung out with us the whole night. So that's he, the part y'all you see. He still won. After he, he yeah, after won. his neck got fucked oh, up. After you yeah, fucked yeah, 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 yeah. He still was like, I'm yeah, mad, but yeah, I'm yeah. We I'm took some hanging. Hennessy shots in Luda's room. We chilled you, the whole did you, night. Did you wipe him off? Like, oh, you good? You good, bro? No, I don't wipe people off. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> wipe him <them> off. <laughs> yeah, wipe him down. I ain't wipe him down. God damn it, yo. Okay, okay. Hold on. Let me get back to the next one because I got a lot. I got a lot. I ain't gonna lie, Luda. Luda, your discography is. Crazy. I appreciate hold it. Up, hold, hold up, Luda. Let me ask you this. How was there no version of you signing to to Jermaine Dupri or Dungeon Family? That's a great fucking question. Um, I, we kind of went through the history when I was at the radio station. Yeah. So there's different things that happen with all of these different entities. I was the first rapper on John Madden 2000. That's Jermaine Dupri. He did that for me, right? And I had the afro, so you remember the So So Deaf mascot, the shit that yep, looks, you yep, know, with yep, the afro. Yep, Are you saying that's you? He was always joking like I'm the So So Deaf mascot, so there was a time where What's wrong with that rumor? Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with that rumor? <laughs> Absolutely. Debris, you you own twelve percent. Yeah, I say this story all the time, but he's one of the people that when I was before I was at the radio station, just complete stranger, knew where he lived, went up to his house, tried to get his motherfucker a demo tape. And this nigga was outside one day when I drove up and actually by himself walked up and took the demo tape from me. That's yeah. how great of a person Jermaine Dupri is. He Did came he personally. personally nigga, he, was, he was outside and I was like, I want to give you something. Now, this is ridiculous. Like for a motherfucker to be alone and actually, come, like you ain't got to do that shit, right? Right. I only say that to say that I have my own extremely multi-million dollar home now. And if a nigga comes to my gate and says, hey, come it. over here, I want to give you my demo tape. Fuck no, I ain't going to go to get this shit from him, bro. So it's, sometimes in retrospect, <laughs> like, you look like, damn, that motherfucker's a phenomenal human too being, nice. bro. But all that being said, so, so deaf, definitely, you know, there, there was a time where we, right. we worked together, organized noise. I, like I said, they did game, got, squi- got switched. That was the flip side of what's your fantasy. So at the time, they had so much going on. They had, you know, the Cool Breeze, the Witch Doctor, Outkast, uh, Goody Mob, all these artists, and they were just trying to find and Wait, try and figure Are you things saying out. that you were uh, associated to them? Not associated, but I was in there and I got records from them at the same time while they were feeding all of these other artists. Okay. So I was down there when Future used to be called Meathead. That used to be his name, Meathead. Wow, wow. And so this motherfucker was down there as a kid and it's just like his success is is great because of what he's done, but he was a student. And He'd be in there name, watching man? all the time. He's Meathead, what's your name? Was still Ludacris, was still but on the radio, yeah, you know, okay. Chris Lover Lover, but... Okay. Uh, I say all that to say I've had my moments with each of those entities, but I never mm-hmm. signed with them. Even with Timbaland, there was a time where I was about to get signed to Timbaland because my first record before What's Your Fantasy, I was on his album and I had a song called Fat Rabbit, which ended up mm-hmm. being on back for the first time. Mm-hmm. So again, I went through all of these processes and nobody really stepped all the way up, which caused me to 
put my money into myself and invest and, in, and do the whole incognito album. That's what it was. Called. It was them though that didn't step all the way. Up. I'm just saying for the person listening, that's tr- that's you. Right. When you were that, it's when you. I don't want to put the blame on them specifically. It was like circumstances that they were dealing with at the time where I wasn't patient enough to just wait around. Right. Mm. And thank God that those circumstances happened because if they didn't, I would not have said, fuck it, I'm going to do this on my own. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how things work out. Right. Shit don't work out for you to be able to do certain things and take fate into your own hands. Right. That's literally how it works out. And so... I went to an independent company. I remember they they gave me seven dollars an album. I sold fifty thousand records at seven dollars a pop. I got three hundred and fifty thousand dollar check when I was like twenty one. Ain't old. bad at all. Biggest check I ever got. All put into myself. Yeah. And I made the whole album for like $20,000. But again, that's all money I saved up from all the after parties and shit that I was doing when I was 18, 19, 20 from working at the radio, radio station. station mm. right. So it was all part of the plan. It was very strategic. And it took, a, it took longer than I thought, but that shit worked out the way it needed to work out. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for it. Do you it. think your process, the way that you did it, would not be appreciated today? I think it would be very appreciated today. We're trying to put this bitch on film and on television the way that yeah. it happened because there's so much more to it. I'm just trying to give y'all the short, yeah. the short version. Right, right. Mm. Yeah, 100%. Let's talk about Splash Waterfalls. Splash Waterfalls, This is that's a good question because it was uh, Shauna's brother is a producer. Really? And he produced Splash Waterfalls. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah, Shauna's fucking brother. And, um... Ice Drake. So he produced that song, Splash Waterfalls. So he put Drake on. <laughs> he's, What's wrong with the rumor? I wouldn't say that. He's the first Drake? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with the rumor? Hey, Drake. No, I'm just playing. Nah, but that's where that came from. And um, we did the remix with Tony, Tony, Tony Beat. So that shit is another another great one for the ladies whenever we do these shows. Yeah, Splash Waterfalls. So before, I love it. before um, you got married, you was finger pop a lot of things. <laughs> no comment, motherfucker. What are you talking about? Hey, get ready for this part. <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I'm married like a motherfucker. I'm 16. And so you're just going yeah, in yeah. with that. How many kids ding? you got? Hip hop. Six. You're supposed to say hip hop, nigga. Oh, hip hop. Hey. My bad. <laughs> Ask that question again. How many kids you got? Hip hop, break it down. Dale que tú puedes. Dale que tú puedes. I've been outside. I've been outside. I've been outside. I've been outside. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Holy shit. Let's, let's rewind that. Ask me that again. Who got the best food? Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico? Don't do that. Don't Cubans. Do that. Don't do that. I said it. I don't, I don't know if he understand the war he just released. That, that's why I asked the question. Y'all motherfuckers yeah. hit me with all these Ain't hard-ass no questions. Cubans. Look, 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 Cubans. Look, it's Cubans. Let's, let's reverse the role. Let me play up like a uh, slow and... What's the shit called? <laughs> slow time with you. Slow time. Yeah, okay. yeah. Slow time with slime. Yeah, yeah. Right. Who's got, By the, the, way, who's he, got the best food? He is food? Cuban, so he has no fight. Okay, I got you. Okay. Yeah, Cubans got the best food. Nah, they get the way. Who's got the best roast con pollo? Best roast Cubans, con pollo. Cubans, Cubans, sorry. Cubans. Oh, okay. It's the best out of roast con pollo. All right, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna let Who's got the go. best roast con pollo? Dominicans uh, no, or no, no, Puerto Ricans? No, no, no. Why are you asking? It's Cubans, guys. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stomp this motherfucker right here. You, you're ruining it right now. Yeah, because uh, I can't let him answer any other than Cubans. Who's uh, got the best food? Puerto Ricans or Dominicans? I'm just going to throw this out there. Ask him who's got the best tostones. Yeah, uh-huh. I want to know what the what's the hard question when it comes to Dominicans. What's the hardest food question of all? Mofongo. Who's got the best mofongo? Hold on, hold on. Mofongo. For the cameras. Puerto Ricans win. We win. Oh, Spell shit. mofongo. M O fungo. But but I'm gonna tell you this. Tell us. Tell us, Juanchi. The best chicharrón de pollo. I got, I got con you. Con hueso. Con hueso, <laughs> coño. It's Puerto Ricans. Why you guys? But why but the hueso? What's fucked up about it? <laughs> it's all the <laughs> best chicharrón de pollo con hueso from Puerto Rico. It be the fucking Dominican chefs. I hate it. <laughs> ah, we finally I got a real it. answer. I hate, it. I, yes. I hate it. I can't I stand it. I look. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? What yeah. the yeah. fuck? What the fuck is Juanito there for? Juanito talking about tato. It's not tato with chicharrón de pollo. All the same where's, shit, where's, bro. Where's Calito, Calito. Yo. Calito, we we don't like it, right? Listen, bro, that, that, we that. all the same people, man. Dish, Yo, Dominicans, you, you think you're having a hard time? Michelle Rodriguez from the Fast and Furious. One yeah. of her parents is Dominican, yeah. and yeah. one of her parents is Puerto Rican. Oh, they right. fighting. <laughs> Get back! <laughs> oh shit! The dopest shit about 
Uh, let's wait for the sirens. That's the mo- that's the movie uh, in me. No, sirens are part of the process. Oh, dope. <laughs> the dope shit about Get Back is Tom Cruise in the movie. Um, Tropic Thunder. Tropic, uh, the dope shit about Get Back is Tom Cruise in the movie Tropic Thunder dancing at the end of the fucking movie with the big ass, yeah, with the big arms and everything. He was less gross, Grossman in that movie. Okay. He played I'm less Grossman. I'm thinking Tom Cruise because Tom Cruise was the agent. He was the fat agent <laughs> yeah, at the end. Exactly. Yep, yep. That was real. No, so, so what I was going to say was the record was good. You know, like we being honest with each other, like it wasn't, my favorite of all of my records. But when that nigga did that at the end of the movie... Tropical Thunder. Yeah, when Tom Crow... I'm sorry. <clears throat> Tom Cruise, he, he he put on the yeah. fast suit. He put on the um, Just For Men that everybody's wearing right now. <laughs> right. Okay. So when Tom Cruise at the end of the movie put on the big suit and he danced to the song the entire time, it literally took the record to a whole other level and gave it a whole new culture to listen oh. to. And so it was good record, but he made it great. Wow. And that's what's dope about it because... Just because Tom Cruise would do that. And it wasn't like five, ten seconds. We're talking about you watch the end no, of this movie. End. It's, no, it's, it's pretty end. much Credits? the whole song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So did so it give dope. you a different idea of the power of that? Of the movie? No, not even that. So Ben Stiller is the one who produced and did the movie. And he, he called us to do a, a screening of the movie before it came out. And so a lot of people don't know this, man. Tom Cruise is my guy. So we, I also talked to him about it. They asked my permission about the shit. And then we made it happen. And so I just saw Tom Cruise. I was on tour with Janet. Uh, he came out to one of the shows. I saw him at the damn F1, the F1 here in Miami. Yo, Tom Cruise is, man, I, I, that's my guy, bro. Tom Cruise is, 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 wait, what are you, what's going on, man? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He just was flossing. Uh, nah, Tom Cruise. He just had his moment. I ain't gonna lie. You, you, you hear how he was spitting? He's been balls. Nah, he's, a, he's an inspiration, man. When he does all his own stunts and shit like that, that motherfucker's an inspiration. He plays Who's no the, games. No, he he to, does his own stunts, bro. He has to insure himself. He has to put millions of dollars up He's because wild. he wants He's to wild. do his own he stunts. He literally jumps from plane and all this crazy shit. He does all pun this shit. Pun tried to do that. I didn't agree with him. No, no, come on. You pun, said pun, big pun? pun did, <laughs> no, pun did it, but it was a different level. Yeah, it was foul. Bro. It was a different yeah. level. I didn't, want, I didn't want to co-sign it at all. No, but it was a whole different he level. To, he came up. He wants to jump off the jet. <laughs> nigga, I don't want nothing to do with this. <laughs> I'm sorry. But can you Tom imagine do, Can you imagine doing a movie and you are insured, you're putting up millions of dollars for your own insurance because you want to do all the stunts? Because the movie is not going to do that for you, so that's how I'm just saying. That's how much so he you're believes. When you do a, 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 they say to you, Luda, if you want to do your own stunts, you got. Oh, they don't even ask us if no, we want to do our Tom own stunts. Cruise. Tom Cruise goes the extra mile. Yeah, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Tom. Yeah, I'm saying they, they never gave you that option. No, absolutely not. not Most not actors yet. don't do that at got, all. I haven't got to that level yet. I'm, okay. Now that's you, an as, that's an aspiration. You wouldn't go there. Son. You wouldn't go there. Like, Nigga, did you just see me at the fucking Georgia Dome with the Falcons? I just repelled from the goddamn that ceiling. Shit was wild. That I was want wild. to do this shit. You want to do Tom Cruise shit? Hell yeah. Nah, you wild man. Tom Cruise is trying to kill himself. I'm gonna take the money or the money I get from drink champs and insure myself on the next goddamn drink film. Champ, we got no money. What are you talking about? Relax. Oh, oh, yeah, hold on. Wait a second, y'all. Everybody get money you come to drink champs. Come here. Wait, they didn't no, tell you? No, no, no. We got no money. Get that. They, <laughs> they didn't tell y'all they was paying me for this? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah Shaka no. paying you for sure. Oh. 100%. <laughs> That's y'all me and Shaka old shit from back in the days. Bro, how y'all not gonna tell... <laughs> That's fucked up. I hope but, that shit don't come out of y'all check, bro. Yeah, bro. no, 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 no. It comes out of, uh, you know, Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, where you at, Mr. Lee? No. Mr. Lee, it's, no, it's funny because I saw him like a year ago. Yeah. He was with Kanye. We yeah. was at, Gar- at, at Carbone. Big, big Carbon. money. Big and then money nigga money. was like, we got to get you on Drink Chance. So I was like, man, I'm trying to, you know, I'm going to come up when I got some shit to promote. Yeah. The only reason I have not been here... Yeah. And you said you wanted me at the beginning. That's it's because I needed I needed the check. That's right. Yeah. Got that. And so we the only it, reason I came here today is they finally told me that I could get the check that I've yeah. been looking for for eight years. Shaka paid himself. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee paid Shaka. That's what took so long. Paid. That's what took so long. Shaka so yeah. rich, he just paid yeah. himself. Mr. Lee yeah. had to I'm move just some <laughs> birds. Mr. Lee moved some birds. I'm just look. Uh, I done fucked nah. it up for all y'all because every every artist that comes out here next, hey man, we ain't got it. We don't got it. We don't got it. No. We spent all our money on alcohol, guys. Bro, oh, really? Shit. And ladies. I, where's the check? Yeah. There's no, no I, check. I, it's I, all culture. I'm yeah. joking because motherfuckers yeah. will think I'm serious. Yeah. I, I'm definitely joking right yeah. now. But I don't Luda, want to fuck up I the whole really drink champ. I really want to give you your flowers, though, bro, yeah. because, um, like I said, like you, you, you're one of those guys that could, to, could navigate through any genre. Meaning, if Tyler, Kwali, and them had a show tomorrow, you would fit <laughs> right in. Luna could go in. Sure. Easy. 
If I Nas had that. a show tomorrow, you fit Easy. right in. If Jay Z had a show tomorrow, easy. you fit right in. Thank you, bro. If Drink Champs had a show tomorrow, Ice Cube, easy, if, if easy, Ice Cube, easy. Everybody. And if Ice Cube or Scarface had a guy, that, easy. If Pharrell or Kanye, or if motherfucking it's Juicy easy. J and Yo Gotti well, had what? a guy, <laughs> you're probably one of the only artists. That is that the can illest thing, bro. Yeah, like nah, that, that means that the world. is like. If NWA or Wu Tang had a show, I'll show up to either Easy. one of these motherfuckers. You'd be like, but yo, let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take a shot, take a yeah. shot. Yeah. Chill, 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 chill. I'm gonna take a shot. Sexy Red has a Easy. concert tonight. Easy. Easy. I'll show up. Luda can fucking go on. Uh, I'll show up for sure. And Easy. what's your fantasy? Yeah. Huh? Right with Sexy Red. Shit, Sexy, Sexy Red coming Red out with a big belly. Yeah. She's what's coming out with a red dong on, and she right behind you. Like, it's fucking Come on, bro. For real. Like, you can fit in every fucking genre. Thank you, bro. Cheers to that shit, God, God, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. No, not your phone, motherfucker. Your drink. Oh, Come on, bad. man. What are we doing? <laughs> Stop my shot, man, G. No, 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 no. Hold on. I'm no, double your drink fisting. is right I'm there. double fisting. Hey, pause, I'm man. Come look, on. Look, I'm double fisting. Damn. Oh, oh, don't double fist, bro. It ruins your night. It ruins <laughs> your night, BG. On. It ruins your night, Too much BG. going on right now, bro. Uh, look, 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 look. We, me and Ludo battling. This is Virgo shit. <laughs> Yo, Virgo bro, I got to ask y'all this shit. So, <laughs> this we've been here, and I'm I, I'm loving this shit, and I want to stay. We've been here two hours. Right. When I, when I looked, most of the shits is like an hour. No. Do y'all no, edit three a hours, whole... Three hours. No, we don't edit. Most three of the drink champs shits are yeah. three hours yeah, we, yeah, we, we, Oh, we feel like idiots, yeah. Oh, this is great. All right, keep but, going. Yeah. Fuck it. But you know... No, in, in, what, what, was your, what was your question, though? No, I thought, the, the, I thought the average time frame of all drink champs interviews was oh, no, no, around no, no, an no, hour. No, I thought y'all were trying to keep it up. The TV version is 45 minutes with commercials. Gotcha. But the real version is three plus. Got yeah. you. Okay. Yeah, because I'm cool for a minute, but I I do have to go to. No, a no, no, show no. We don't expect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah, we yeah. just give him another is. shot. No, we good. We good. Oh no, we ain't missing it. We ain't missing the fucking. We gotta perform. We gotta perform for the fucking. I'm coming to see you perform. I'm coming to see you perform. Nah, it's a part of it. Jingle Jam or some shit. Come on, Jingle Jam. Yeah, so it's like it's a bunch of artists, but that shit is in Fort Lauderdale. That's the only. Where's Jamie at? Shit's in. Nigga, I don't need a shot. I've been drinking my drink. I'm good, bro. I'm in. I'm all the way good. I'm in. Okay. Uh, okay. Listen, we've been blessed to have little Chris today, bro. Nah, I appreciate it. Bro. And we talked about splashing on waterfalls already. I love it. I love it. Pimping holes all over the world. Pimping all over the world. It was never pimping holes all over the world. Now, I did have a song called Ho. Yeah. But pimping all over the world. Pimping all over the world. Yeah, shout out to Polo the Don on that one. And Carrie Hilson wrote that hook. When you hear it singing. And I feel like Polo the Don had his braids on to the back. He did have his braids. Okay. 100%. Hey, uh, love Polo the Don, man. That was one of those records that he sent to me. And I was like, I already knew what it was. Mm -hmm. And by the way, since we're giving people their flowers, man, Polo and his sonics and his production of what he's contributed to the game. Mm hmm. Go back and listen to his his catalog. His sonics are out of this world. Yes, yeah, need to give him his flowers. I remember Timberland, you know, leaning on him and kind of giving him some some advice. And those are two people that I respect when it comes to sonics in the game. Dr. Dre, Timberland, Polo. Wow. Yep. Have you worked with Dre? I haven't. That's that, if that's going to be one of the questions of who I haven't worked with, Dr. Dre. Damn. Now, when, when we, listen, when we when we was on the wash set, he had like. A kind of a studio off to the side, and I went and listened to a bunch of beats, but we never were able to bring anything to fruition. But you know, he was he was multitasking, so he was doing two things you at the same time. Be Ill, man. Yeah, that, it, it ain't too late. We can still make it nah, happen. No, nah, it's never too late. Yeah, I agree. Let's make it happen. Let's make Smitty, that shit happen. Smitty, if you're listening, help. absolutely. Okay, and now there's the next question. It's the stomped joint, Young Buck. Young Buck. Young Buck. Get in, Young Buck. We kind of, we kind of went <laughs> we kind of went kind of went there with already with Ti yeah, yeah you kind of kind of get out there let's go Saturday then yep today's Saturday, Saturday. today's Friday nigga you been drinking way too much bro <laughs> not today's Saturday yo today's no, Saturday you been drinking Chris, today, today is Saturday. Saturday oh shit today is Friday <laughs> <You been drinking. laughs> I like that I like that. Sicky, 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 Sicky. That's how busy I am. No, you gotta sip it. You gotta sip it. That's how busy I am. I'm just forgetting what day it is. Today is Saturday. Nah, you're right. Saturday, Organized Noise did that shit. Go ahead. Again. So, Organized Noise, man. They also did Blueberry Yum Yum, which is one of my favorite records, man. But Saturday was on Word of Mouth album. Yo, you know you blessed when you don't remember what song is on what album because you I got mean, that you many albums. Yeah, I love that. Thank you. Right, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
No, nah, it was it was that was one of those records that it just stood the test of time. And uh, again, in terms of trying to do something totally different than what was going on in the industry with the cadences of the verses and just trying to be different. That was one of those things where I set out to do that. And when you're coming out with your second album and the first one is successful, you know that you can take some risks and take some chances, and that's exactly what we did. Mm. So that's what happened. Mark Classfield, I believe, produced uh, or directed that video. Yeah, you, you, I ain't gonna yeah. lie, your memory is very good. You Only must not smoke no, no marijuana. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, no, I do all that. Okay. Yeah. Not today. <laughs> who, who are the top five? Okay, I'm not gonna put five on it. Who are the top MCs that influence you? Uh, we we talked about that when I said red and common and. Uh, but I want uh, you to go deeper. I know there's more than that. <clears throat> um, okay, so I said LL Cool J because if it wasn't for him coming out with I'm Bad, I was in the fourth grade. I did a a talent showcase where I did that record, and I knew every word to that entire song. I'm bad. No rapper can rap quite like I can. I took so muscle bound man into you. Me. Pinnacle, when I say that, he's the one who made me want to pursue this as a fucking career, right. like to wow. rap. And I, wow. every time I see him, I you tell him. You saw that. yourself in him, in a sense. You can say, yeah, I mean, you could say that, or you could say, you know, when he, once he saw me, he saw himself in me. Mm. It could be either way, but I guess what I'm saying is that he inspired me to want to to rap. Right. Yeah. Take a PB. Go ahead, right, bro. That's all good. So I would say LL Cool J. Um, just because he inspired me to want to rap. I said, I think Scarface, Face. we talked about that. Face being the, the phenomenal storyteller that he is, talking about lyricism. His sonics were amazing as well. And honorable mention to Mike Dean, and I know that was a part of that process. Um, you discovered Face through Ghetto Boys, assuming. Was he in Ghetto Boys? For, yeah, I believe so. Ghetto Boys first. Because he was a, he, he was a, a lot of people don't know Scarface was a DJ before he was in the Ghetto Boys. And you knew him at he that point DJ. too? No, I, I didn't know him well, at that I mean, time. I'm saying you knew about him. I knew about him, yeah. Before Ghetto Boys? I heard about that. Really? I, man, I was engulfed in hip hop culture. Everything that had anything to do with hip hop, I'm all about it. I mean, Researching but, but and everything. I mean, before that, you, you must have been like really deep in it. But we in the South, though. The South is well connected, man. You I know. mean, I feel like I know shit, but I didn't know that part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I would say Scarface, I would say LL, I said Common. Right. I feel like Common is, is underrated, man. That Common since that first album, uh, No ID. Yeah. Resurrection. Phenomenal. Resurrection. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Red Man, I said. That first Red Man album is off the chain. Yep. And if I had to name a fifth one, it would be Outkast, if you can put those two together. Okay. As one, you know. So you feel that creates ludicrous. There's a. I was. I loved all of hip hop, but you asked off the top of my head. You asked me to name five. Those are the first five that I can name. That helped shape me. Okay. Yep. But What's then you got you know being in Atlanta like the Kilo Ali's and the Shy D's and just the bass heavy and us loving to ride around in our wasn't cars. Wasn't Gucci Crew originally from Atlanta or are they Miami? Ghost Town DJ. I always I always represent Gucci Crew as Miami, but I feel like Ghost. We had Ghost Town DJs. They're Miami. And DJ, they Miami, right? Yeah. Okay. DJ Smart DJ Smart for Ghost Town DJs. That like set the tone. You had Kilo Ali and you had all these bass artists. And that's what Yeah, helped. well we had that synergy with Miami and, and Atlanta with yeah. the, the, the bass. Right, right. And that's what helped shape the kind of tone of Atlanta music as well. So yeah, I would say that. Blow it out your ass. <laughs> I love how we just pause well, and then know, right? blow it out your ass. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. It's fantastic. It's the best. It's, it's Drink Chance, baby. Question. No, I was dope because I uh, that was Chicken and Beer album. That was my third album. Mm -hmm. That's and I think thinking. my first week sales was the highest first week sales that, of my entire career on that album. And I remember... He was getting 80,000 a verse back then. Let's make some noise for that. He said 80,000. That's what you he said. said. He you said more said. than that. Look, look, look at him. He said, nope, it was more. Right. Hold on. Let me... You was getting bigger, bigger than that? My bad. When did uh, Glamorous come out? What, what area? What, what, what? Oh, don't worry about it. That's a long Don't worry. We, we got Googlers. That, that's fine, but yeah, probably. They, probably... they paid to Google. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what, uh, what uh, year, but I was going to say what comes to mind with that particular song was us shooting this video, and we, you know how sometimes you would shoot two songs in one video? Mm-hmm. We had this Southern Hospitality intro to that album. 
Mm. And I still use that intro to this day because it had okay. an Isaac Hayes sample in it. Mm. And it was the most amazing fucking intro ever. DJ mm. Nasty from Orlando did that. It's called oh, Southern. shout out to Nasty, yeah. bro. Shout out to Nasty. It's called Southern Fried Intro. So we did that and blow it out your ass all in one video. The whole crew was in there. You know what I mean? Shauna, Chingy, Titty Boy. This was when we had 15 fucking artists, so everybody is in this video. All right. All right. Yeah. So it was amazing because that was just a moment in time where I was like, I was, after word of mouth, did 3.5 million, and I'm going to the next album. So once a nigga cross over that whole sophomore jinx shit, it's just like, okay, nigga, I'm here. Fuck right. that. Y'all can't say shit else about me. Now I'm about to take this shit to a whole other level. So that time frame, was a, it was a beautiful time frame. It was a beautiful time frame. And I remember Jay-Z, I believe, what, because I did, I want to say, like 300, almost 400,000 records the first week, he always fucked Come on, yeah, yeah. Come on motherfuckers. Wake the fuck up, motherfucker. That's crazy. Now, he always fucked with me. Like, that was my guy because we was at the same label. We see each other a lot, and he would give me a lot of game. But after that first week, he, he came to me. He was like, nigga, there you go. Mm. He, it's official. It's official now. You so, know, that motherfucker's the first week king. Yeah. Yes. If you think about the history, right. that motherfucker sold like half a million first week like three or four times. Yep. If I if my mind serves me correct. So when I got close to that on his ass, he was like, yeah, man, this shit is official. All right. So so let me ask you, again, I'm bouncing around. Um, you signed Chingy, right? Yep. Honorable mention to Shaka. Shaka was really the one that spearheaded that entire Chingy movement and situation. Because he, Nelly he is hot? The, he he kind of, I wouldn't oh. say A&R, but he was the one that noticed it and picked it up and brought it to uh, brought it to the team. I don't want to take credit for that, basically. Okay, so um, basically, Atlanta's a region that's hot, but we know there's other artists that yeah, came yeah, yeah. in there. St. Louis is, is like kind of almost undiscovered. We got Nelly. And I, I wouldn't say that. I don't, I don't want to say undiscovered because you had you had Nelly and okay, you had Nelly. his team there, and this was years before. Okay, yeah, but Nelly and his team is kind of like in that same category, right? Right, but I'm just saying I wouldn't use the word undiscovered because St. Louis, okay, from what from my perspective in terms of rap and in terms of that category, Nelly really you know catapulted absolutely. it to a whole other level. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you. Right, one million percent. But what made you sign a Chingy? Was it because of Nelly's success? So Chingy had the song right there. Right. And that and that he song was out, out already? He put it out independently. Oh, I didn't know that. And that's why I'm saying Shaka flagged that. He noticed it, and he was the one that brought it to the team. I can't take credit for this. Mm. I got to give Shaka all the credit. Goddamn, make some Shaka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I never heard it, but, you know, as a, as a person who understands music and understands creative you know when something is popping. And if you're the first person before everybody else gets to it and you go sit with that artist and you know you tell them you believe in them, then that's what is the magic that can help you even further propel them to superstar status. Right. When that song was out, we knew it was good and we just wanted to help so, catapult it to a whole other level. I apologize. So he came to you and he played you that record? How did this happen? He played, he played me the record. And I'm going to okay. be honest with y'all, when I first heard it, I didn't understand it. You know and it was saying? right there? Yeah, it was right there. I'm sorry, I'm doing a dance. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not really, I, you're not really doing a dance. I'm fucking the dance, dance but, uh, I'm fucking... <laughs> you almost had it. Right there, right there. I'm fucking it up, Luda. I'm nah, but when he brought it to me, it was... Uh, I heard it, and it's like... I, just, I didn't fully understand it. Mm -hmm. But it didn't... It didn't. When he, he believed in it so much, I was like, man, if you believe in it this much, let's roll with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rest, I, I, as I keep saying, the rest is fucking history, right. bro. When you uh, believe in your brothers, 24 right. years, no contract. When you right. believe in your brothers, right. shit happens. God damn. Good shit happens. God damn. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. that is beautiful. Okay, right. damn. Damn, Rasta, come on. Just to say it out loud. <laughs> hey, just, just, well, do you still have your $3? <laughs> there we go. What is it? 93, oh, no. Acura 19, Legend. 1993. What makes it so special to you? Uh... Do you need to say that the right way before I answer? Or, uh, I want to Everybody sure. know I can't read. Go ahead, let's go. go ahead. So yeah, yeah. My, my 1993 Acura Legend, I absolutely still have that shit. And here's a great story about that. Um, well, first, let me answer what you said. What makes it so special? What makes it God bless you, nigga. God damn. Hey, that's COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what makes it so special to me? I'll give you a quick story about what makes it so special. 
I have had this car from from the beginning of time. Before I became commercially successful, before I signed my Def Jam deal, you ain't figured it was about like, nothing, nothing. That was the tour bus, and it was okay. the Acura Legend, riding the fucking Augusta everywhere in Georgia, doing all these, you know, shows with like twenty motherfucking people showing up on the Chitlin Circuit because I had this independent album out. Was you eating Chitlins? No, nah, I wasn't. It's just no, called either. the Chitlin Circuit. Uh, do your research. <laughs> you no, know, no, I know the Chitlin Circuit. I know. I'm fucking. I've with been there. So um, I'm still there in my mind. Yeah, yeah my bad. So what makes that car so special is I'm driving this car 15 years plus. Mm. One day, I'm on the goddamn highway, and I'm driving my car. This shit got over 200,000 miles on it. And so I'm driving. I'm in the left lane. I'm in the fast lane, and I see this motherfucking truck with a U-Haul hitch on it, and I'm just minding my business. And all of a sudden, I see the hitch start to sway. And I'm like, in my mind, this is reaction time because in a split second, this hitch came off of the fucking truck and now I got to use all of my instinct to try and get as far away from this shit as possible because it's coming straight for the passenger side of my Acura Legend. I tried my best to get away, but this shit battle ram, battle ram the living shit out of, out of this shit, right? So luckily, I'm okay. I had the seatbelt on. I could pull over to the side, but my car is totaled. So fast forward about two months later, I'm trying to get this shit fixed. And Acura, the company, knows nothing about this crash. But they wanted to use Pimpin' All Over the World, the song, in one of their Acura commercials wow. to promote a new movie. I'm sorry. They have no yeah. idea you just crashed. Yeah, I'm sorry. Acura wanted to use the Pimpin' All Over the World song to promote one of their commercials. All right. So they invite me out because we cleared the Pimpin' All Over the World song for their commercial, and they have an auto show in Detroit. And so I go to the auto show, and they're showing us the new... Uh, Ford GT and all this other stuff. They know nothing about my crash. So at the end, the company goes upstairs and they're having a meeting and they say, do you want to say something on the microphone? And I'm like, no, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> so I go up on the mic and I, I don't have a speech prepared or nothing. I'm talking to all the executives and CEOs of the company Acura. The only thing that came to my mind was, this is how passionate I am about at my Acura legend, how much I love it. I just got in an accident. A U-Haul hits just detached from a fucking truck, battle ram my shit, and believe it or not, how much I have to pay for the damages is worth more than the actual car Damn. is right now. Damn. So I just, and then I came down from the podium, and all the motherfucking top CEOs came up to me and said, we want to take your car and redo the whole goddamn <laughs> thing. We want to take that shit, redo the tires, the inside, the fucking, the sound system, the engine, the every, like the outside, candy paint. They took my car and they redid everything. And I still drive that shit till this day. Let's make some noise for people at Acura. Day, bro. <laughs> to this day. To this day. People at Acura. <laughs> oh, fuck them. I ain't gonna lie. Shout I, I met my wife. She had an Acura. We got to start Niggas showing love to Acura. <laughs> Acura, 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 Acura. Yo, we, we bringing you back in the hip-hop community. Yo, that, that, that's Japanese-made. They take their time, That's Japanese-made. Japanese. They grand Seiko. That means they got battery-operated. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's a watch shit. They still Japanese-made, right? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Honda. Yeah. Yep, Honda. Exactly. Yeah. Honda and Acura. Same, same people. So. Same people. So Fast and Furious. Who gave you that call? It was John Singleton. Oh, you said that already, yeah. right? But you know what? I'm glad you asked that because I was on tour with Eminem at the time. This was after the Outcast tour. Ooh. So I was on tour with Eminem and I got slight a call. Slight flaws, slight flaws. Yeah, so I got a call. I'm about to go on stage in 20 minutes. I get a call from my agent saying, John Singleton wants you to put yourself on camera to try out and read these lines for Too Fast, Too Furious. I'm like... Man, what the, what the fuck is going on? I'm about to go on stage. Like, I'm concentrated on killing this crowd right now. Mm. So we get a camera together because, of course, you got all type of production people backstage. There's no I'm iPhones the, back there. No, none of that shit. I'm looking at the lines, and I'm like, okay, I got to come up and try and make this. Okay, let me get in character. Let me read these lines. Go through it a couple times. Now we like 12 minutes before showtime. Fuck it. Just, just put me on camera. This is the best they're going to get right now because the motherfuckers was like, we need the shit by tomorrow. Right. Mm. So I put myself on camera, go out, kill the stage. The next day, I'm not thinking I got the shit because I'm like, ain't no way in hell. Like, I rushed the shit out of this, putting myself on tape. Nigga called me. It was like, you got the part. The rest is history, ladies and gentlemen. The rest is history. You hear me? <laughs> now I'm sitting in my crib one day. I don't know if it's Netflix or whatever, but you and Latifah just come up. <laughs> End of the road, yeah. 
I clicked the, that shit. Y'all niggas had me crying. Really? Yeah, I ain't like the fact that the white the boys movie. try to get, get at y'all. <laughs> the white boys try to get at y'all. You and Latifah was like, get in the car. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were in the car. I'm trying to think, is that cry worthy though? I don't know if it was cry worthy. Can you let me you sure you can you let me cry? Okay. Let, can you let, let me cry, cry, bro. All right, okay. I'm let sorry. Let me cry, man. Right. I've been I've been I've been, been through bad. some shit. You know what? I I've been through some shit. <laughs> I'm looking at the nigga some said shit. I've been through some shit. Hey, you know what? I apologize. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, I've been your some emotions shit. are validated, and uh and I can't believe way, that I tried to to do that to you. Go ahead. Wait, let me just tell you something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how good you and Latifah are. As actors. Right. Thank you. I didn't look at y'all like I knew y'all. And I know both of y'all. That's dope. And I looked and I was I just so I felt dope. so sorry. I was like, why why is these white people bothering them? <laughs> <laughs> that means the world to me just because that's our biggest goal is anyone in hip hop to not look at us I can't, as the hip hop artist in the movie. The period, that's yeah. the that's the biggest thing. God damn it. That God means the world. No, that means the world. No, no, no. For real. That means the world. No, but that, from the I, I watched that movie and I was like, "Holy moly, guacamole!" Yeah. But that's 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 in me, in my opinion. That's what I couldn't do was like I couldn't like identify those characters that I couldn't relate to. But for for me, for you, yeah, you're a real actor to me. Thank you, man. You could actually do whatever the fuck you want to do, bro. That crash shit, it fucked me up. For that to be my first official movie, and you in there with Don Cheadle, uh-huh. like we said, Terrence Howard, uh-huh. Sandra Bullock, Brendan Fraser, Lorenz Tate, who I done watched in fucking Minutes to Society and all these other mm-hmm. things. It was nothing but A-list extreme actors in that movie. Mm-hmm. And here I am, this nigga, you know, fresh off a Chicken and Beer album. Right. And it was intimidating, but I knew I had to step up to the goddamn plate. Right. So I think that changed things for me, man. And like I said, that's why I take it so serious. Right. And you had a chicken and beer in the airport. Oh, yeah. In both. It's, it's in LAX now, too. So it's in Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson, and in LAX airports. Chicken and beer restaurant, for sure. Go check that out. Thank you. Thank you. Jackson? You said Jackson? Jackson? Hartsfield, Jackson. That's Atlanta. Hartsfield Jackson Airport. Okay, it was a, I'm yeah. sorry. Let's Andrew I'm a Jackson. New York nigga. I don't Come on now, Maynard, Maynard Jackson. So it's Hartsfield. But Shaka, we know you don't want to shine, but can you sit down for us for one second, Shaka? Uh, please, please. Yeah, come on, Shock, please, for one second. I, I mean, know. for me, not, 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 not for the world. For, for me, for me. Well, Shaka. Yeah. He need, you know what? Give him some tequila. Hey, hey, hey. Give him some tequila. Yeah. Oh, tequila? Oh, okay. <laughs> And and you got young niggas um 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 braid. What's up, that shit called? Um, um. Uh, for camera purposes, you are gonna have to go like this, my brother. Put your screen. yeah, yeah, you gotta do that. What? You can't do that. So there you go. What? Now you just gotta face this way. God bless. God bless. There you go. Not used to this. I'm used to this shit. I know how it goes. Nah, I I, I just want to say something, Shaga, because um, you're one of the greatest people I ever met in life. And what I would say what you kind of alluded to is that Mm -hmm. there's energies in the world Mm -hmm. and we come from a lot of different backgrounds and we have people that are intentional or we have intentional enemies that use our culture against us, Mm. right? They use what we've done, what we've come from, who we are, the neighborhoods, the people we associate with against us. So we have to be very clear about who we are, and whether that's our existence or our experience. I tell any young person, what you're going through is not who you are. And so at that point, if you can have integrity in any situation, when we're talking long-term, we're watching a lot going on right now, and you can only give me the grace and the benefit of the belief in me based upon my integrity through the situations and the years we've known each other. Because if I'd have showed you another person, you'd have been like, so when we look at, and we've talked about this a couple of times, and he's called me and he's just been like, thank you. And I'm like, what are you thanking me for? I thank him more than, he, I'm along for the ride. Yeah, I can't do something if something is not there. I can't make something out of nothing. But he's not, just thank you for keeping me in the space and the mindset of which I am. He had to navigate trap music. He had to navigate all of the other stuff to just be who he was. And it wasn't always the cool thing. Wow. But his integrity now 
even in that situation, is paying off for him long term. So if I would tell anybody, youth, even old people, when we look at what we're dealing with and we're getting and we're trying to age gracefully, mm-hmm. our integrity comes in play when we start thinking about 10, 20, 30 years later. <laughs> and we see a lot of people being attacked for what they did 10, 20, 30 years ago. Earlier. Right? Jeopardy, yep. And we know what's right. Even when it's cool. Mm-hmm. Hip hop, we <laughs> live the life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Drink, <laughs> travel the world, mm-hmm. just do it. But so I appreciate the grace that was given to me. I think I'm sorry, I got, got, got. Nah, you good, bro. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. But you the know what? Thing, the because good, listen, um, I was going to say, let me just say what's so special about this podcast, and y- y'all are so used to it right now that you might be to a degree desensitized, but what I noticed mm-hmm. is the passion that comes from both of y'all, yeah. man. Like, you mm-hmm. can't fake when mm-hmm. you look in somebody's eyes mm-hmm. when they're asking certain mm-hmm. questions, and all of this shit is just so much passion, and that's, it's very hard to be able to transfer that when someone is looking on a fucking screen right. as opposed to being here. Right. But what I'm saying is you two motherfuckers <laughs> do very well at letting that shit transfer through the fucking screen of the passion and the love that y'all have. Thank and you. that's what makes Dream Champ so goddamn special. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations on that. Let me, let, me, let me just say, from the beginning, these, him, Jeff, they had your fucking back, bro. Like, I can't lie to you. I saw that shit from the beginning. Like, oh, always. We always we all got each other's backs. Yeah, that that's shit why is we so beautiful. Twenty four years and counting, baby. Yeah, that shit is so beautiful, man. Um, what is what is something that you regretted? What is what is somebody you had the chance to work with that you didn't have? We was just talking about like the whole Dr. Dre. I wouldn't even call it regret because it's there's still a chance for the shit to happen. Uh-huh. It's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. But I uh. That's somebody I definitely want to work with. When we was talking about the whole death row versus bad boy thing, mm-hmm. which is the one of the hardest questions y'all asked me tonight. I love it. And I just talked to, I just think thought about like my experience as a right. kid growing mm-hmm. up and me gravitating towards the sonics of what Dr. Dre does and going as far as wondering how this nigga got that shit to sound that amazing. Right. That's somebody I would love to work with. And the Hitman and Bad Boy, they made this shit sound amazing as well. Easy Mo B, all of the shit that Biggie did. Easy Mo B. Have you worked with Easy Mo B? I haven't. I haven't. Oh. That's that SB12 love right you there, baby. You still could do that right Analog. Now. Come on, Easy Mo B, let's Analog. go. Analog. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's he, go. He's done a record with Biggie Post. Post you know, and, and, and Tupac. Tupac. Post, yeah. Post. Because uh, I was too young to do And Jay-Z and Nas. And Jay-Z and Nas. Hell yeah. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That's like rights to retirement. <laughs> like, nah, don't like, say like, that. Not, 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 you, know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say? You never retire. I got you. But what I'm trying to say is, I don't have the accolades. And I've been in this game 26 years. Stop saying that, though, because yeah. you got motherfucking drink champs. This shit that yeah, took yeah. a whole nother yeah, life yeah. for no and, Come and, on, bro. But it's okay. But but what I'm trying to tell you is, I want to give you your flowers, my brother. I got the motherfuckers. Um, you know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 nah. I, I received uh, these uh, bitches, uh, bro. Uh, Come on, Nah, man. nah, Luda. Hell That's why yeah. you're here. The reason why, you know I why? It's because, it's because, I'm being honest, Luda. You're one of the greatest of our culture. Absolutely. Wow. And the fact is, wow. and the fact is, no one the fact is that you can be into six, seven different, everyone respect you. From the gangsters to the people who wear backpacks, to the people who take shots, to the people who shoot people, to the people who look at people who steal in, to the people who actually steal. You're respected in every genre. I'm a culmination of my environment, man. And it's all of those things. But thank you, man. I'm telling you, no, that shit means the world. but you have to know that. Yeah. You have to know that. That's love. That's what, in hip-hop, that's what the fuck we, we strive to be is accepted in all genres. Because you know why? There's five elements of hip-hop, right? So you could either break dance, you could either uh, graffiti, you could either rap, you could either DJ. It's not... Pe- that's accepted in all those genres. And that's what you're, you are. Thank you, bro. Cheers. So that's what you are. Come on, man. Let's go, hey, MC. No, 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 no. Let's love. Like, like, look, look. I'm not playing around. Nah, this, this is what you are. Hold on. You got to sit big or don't count. 
Nah, I, I didn't proud. really all the way I'm believe proud. y'all when you said you wanted me to be one of the first motherfuckers on here. Now no, I, no, no, I, I no, fully no. believe I, no, the no, shit. No, 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 because I know we Virgo brothers. I know we Jeff six, Cam six brothers. days apart. I know nigga. we we all that, but <laughs> that that takes away everything uh, from wh- who you are as as a real like an uh, artist. Like I, I'm gonna say it. I said it. I said it earlier. Who the fuck was jogging with me earlier? Uh, he was jogging me. That's why he said no. Mm. And I was like, that was the difference between the versus battle. Was Luda was seasoned. He was seasoned with Kevin Lowes. Seasoned with, with Leo Cole. We were foul people. Right. What I mean by that is they sent you on the road that whole time. And they made you know how to fucking perform a show. Yeah. They did it to all so, of us. So, again, I, I'm sorry, Dick, and Nelly's my brother again. But when I seen, because versus, we were just sitting back home, and we were just watching everything. And I sat back. And as soon as I seen your face, you made that face earlier. I swear to God, we got it on film. Now you made that face. I said, this motherfucker's going to go crazy. Great. <laughs> uh, I know. Like I know, and I seen him, and he. We was playing nah. stage. We was playing stage. <laughs> that nigga Joe yeah, Joe yeah, Button said straight. the same thing. By the way, oh he did. I didn't know that. He, to the, to a degree, he said the same shit. What did he say? Come on, please. Pretty much what you said. Yeah, cause I ain't gonna lie. I saw yeah. your face. I didn't even know I was making a face. Like this shit is is great to hear from a different mm. perspective. Yeah. I saw, and Nelly's my brother. Just to be clear, I love him. Nelly's my brother too, man. But I looked. I was like, yeah. Luda's going to snuff somebody tonight. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought you were going to snuff your own crew. I ain't going to lie. That's how, that's how crazy you, you, you like him. <laughs> that's why I'm okay taking the jabs, bro, because none of them are death blows. They all, it's okay. Nah. Somebody got to be the person that, that, that takes the jabs. Now, when I decide to hit back, then it might be unfair. It just uh, depends. You can't hit back. You know why you can't hit back? Why can't I hit back, Nori? I need to hear this. <laughs> you know why you this can't This is good. Hit back? I, I really need to hear. <laughs> be honest with you. It's been like 15 years. I ain't hit back. You are inspiration. You know why? <laughs> you are inspiration. You, you the people that we say, you know what? This guy said this, but we don't want to respond because you know why? Luda didn't respond. <laughs> you're the good guy. Now man, you now you understand I'm, why I try to take the high road and always I'm cool because yes. my, my core is strong and I'm okay with taking these jabs because at the end of the day, I hope whatever it is that these motherfuckers that take jabs at me are trying to accomplish, I hope that they've accomplished that accomplished shit. That, right. You know why? Because it has not hurt or put a dent in my legacy or me in any fucking way. Mm-mm. So I allow them to do that because at the end of the day, I still love these motherfuckers. There's still a certain amount of history that we have with each other that if I stand on a certain amount of morals and integrity and just love, I haven't come to a point where I'm wanting to do tit for tat and bicker and babble and go back and forth with motherfuckers because when I see you in person, so it ain't up. shit like what the fuck you yeah. was just talking about on camera. It's so totally up. different. Yes. It's, it's a dichotomy that I haven't fully understood yet. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that I'm going to understand it. Mm-hmm. 100%. You talking about being real? This whole industry is built off motherfuckers saying shit on camera. But then when they see you in person, it's something Not totally real, no, different. Yeah. And I, and I can say that I either am immature or too mature because I haven't fully grasped and understood that yet. I'm still giving motherfuckers the benefit of the doubt. Right. That's Damn. my problem. That's, That's either my gift That's or difficult. my curse. That's, That's what I'm difficult. saying. Yeah. Right. God, God damn. God, <laughs> I'm just God, being real, I nigga. I'm smoking another blunt. Sorry, y'all. I'm just being real. Let, let me expand on something that Nori was saying, though. And just coming from... The perspective of being from Miami, being a mixtape DJ out of Miami. Um, one of the things that we was like from where I come from, Miami, like the, the hip hop community I come from is like the early 90s. And we only wanted lyrical sensibility coming out of the South. Right. That's what we we strived for because everything was coming out of New York. Right. And we were emulating that. but We wanted to be representative of the South. And you did that. 
Dungeon Family did that. Outcast yep. did that. You yep. did that. That's what I want you to know that you were you did that to the highest ability. That's love. That's huge. Thank you, bro. Huge. Huge. For real. Thank y'all, man. It when I say this, hip hop so much. Yeah. I'm just as passionate with my answers and receiving this love as y'all are like saying it. I'm being real. Nah, because you deserve it, bro. Nah, we, we I stay moving, man. I stay moving. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Thank I just you. being honest, man. Um, you, your crew. Um, I was saying this to, to everyone here. Um, you know, pretty much everyone that was here, I spoke to them before you came here, and I was just like, "This is a person I wanted to like give their flowers to." Yeah, y'all. It's because y'all really, y'all really, y'all, y'all really lived this shit. For y'all sure. really out like. <coughs> Not just because I out drink y'all on Drink Champs. That's no, 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 no. You really think you out drank us? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. For sure. Jamie, just three more shots, Jamie. No, no, no. My shots is right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That means you didn't take it because look, mine's is done. Okay, okay. No, her job is to he's right. Her job is to refill my shots after I take them. That means I'm like five motherfucking shots ahead of you. I don't want you to out drink. No, no, no. To be honest with you, I don't want you to do that. Hold on, hold on. And Shaka, let me just say something. Hold on. Everybody, put their cups of their. Uh, empty shots up right I mean, quick. So we can show the shots. camera, please. <laughs> this is the same shots. Watch for me. this. Watch this. You can't fake this shit. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go on. Oh! Yeah, he wins. He wins. He wins. Can you say that to the camera, please? Yes. Luda wins. Where's the camera? Ooh. Yes, Luda wins. Ooh. And guess what? I win because Luda's with me. <laughs> but we win if Luda wins. That's right. That's, that's the way it works. You remember when you told us about drink champs? Yes. Uh, we was in um, Toronto. I wanted Toronto. y'all to invest. Oh, yeah, 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 shit. Yeah, shit, invest. We was at Soto yeah. Soto. Yeah. This motherfucker Drake was restaurant. there. Drake Restaurant. Yep. That's right. We was at Soto Soto. I was at Drake Restaurant, Drake. Yeah. Pull up, you light skinned motherfucker. Food is amazing. <laughs> food, food is amazing. amazing. I yeah. love you, Drake. And this motherfucker and, and, told us and, about um, Drink Chance. He yeah, said, yeah. I'm starting, I love food. Sent a bottle of red wine to the table. Sent a God, bottle dude, of red wine. Class? Nigga, you cheers, got class? bro. I got class. Come on, give, no, no, give, give, get another shot, motherfucker. Come on, man. I'm already ahead of He don't want me to re-rate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I love you. I remember that. He's gonna take that one. You forgot about that shit, No, no, no. Take your shit. No, no, take your shit. No, no, no. She got us. No, 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 no. Shaka, come on. Yeah. And you got them braces, That's nigga. Shaka, come on, bro. Shaka, hey, Shaka, don't, don't drink that on, shit. Salud, yeah. come on. Salud. Yeah, right. You don't drink shit. All good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you, Shaka. Hey, I'm going to need y'all to mold this and put it on a goddamn mantle somewhere. I want to compare myself to all other artists that come up here. I want to see how many shots motherfuckers take. Thanks a lot. Okay, so so who dr- who drank the most? Yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, man. Hands down to Tony Yayo. All respect. All respect. Wale. Wale went into respect. Yeah. Wale. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's crazy. But put me up there with the greats. Yes. That's all I ask. We putting you up in the greats. Holy moly, God, come on, I got another. Nigga, what time is it right now, bro? <laughs> he yeah. got to go. He got to go do a show. Hey, I'm, sorry, I'm not, I'm not hey, even hey, like, I want to stay, but I really on, have to on, get to the No, he has to go do a show, bro. I got, I got, I got one more question, because you guys got, <laughs> oh, guess what the question is. Yeah. <laughs> one more drink, or is it all my drink? One more. One more drink. Yeah, one more drink. One more drink. Uh, shit, that was with me and T Pain. Who the oh the fucking Toke? Shout out to T Pain, bro. Yeah, one more drink. Tone and Poke produced that shit. Did you know that? Trackmasters. Wow. Trackmasters Track produced, Master produced that? one more drink. Yeah. Wow. With T-Pain. Yeah. Was that auto tune? I don't even put that together with T Pain. <laughs> T Pain. I'm sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure he did. And then uh, Cat Williams was in that video. That shit was just fun, man. Goddamn. Yeah. I remember Kanye being in my home studio listening to that album because I'm sure we worked on something for it. And he heard that out of all this other stuff that I was going to put up for singles. He was like, right. that's it right there. That's the fucking one. And One More Drink did what it had to do. That should be the Drink Champs theme song. It, it, what the fuck are we be. talking about right you now? You're right. Can yeah, we make a new version of it? We can if they just give me no, a, you gotta a do, little more. You got to remix it for us. Yeah, you got to uh, make yeah. the beat. We'll make it happen. If they give me another check like they gave me forever. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> Come on. It'll be good. Look, It'll be fucking good. us up right now, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You gotta make us go All broke. All artists before. go with a good checks. <laughs> and we we spoke about lovers and friends. That was my last question. But Luda, Shaka, 
I want to look at you brothers face to face, man to man, and tell y'all, thank y'all, because not for what you did tonight. Tonight was, it's beautiful, right? That's, that has nothing to do with it. What you did, and your, your, your journey to be here is so beautiful, man. Um, Every hip hop artist should be praised because you know what? God bless me for saying it like this, but I'm gonna say it. A McDonald's worker, after he finishes McDonald's shift, he takes off his M, his yellow shit, and he can go return back to regular life. An artist who doesn't make it or who makes it a little bit can never turn back to regular life. Even if he doesn't make it, you know what the people say to him? You bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you tried that. You tried to be better than us. But when an artist that makes it and tries to do that and then goes to that level, that hate is so crazy. That hate is so tremendous. You summing up every nigga that ever took a shot at Ludacris ever in life. <laughs> <laughs> you literally summing it up. I'm talking about motherfuckers that I fuck with, people I don't fuck with, <laughs> everything. Let me, I should have answered it that way. Let me put it in perspective. What was I doing? What do you think the opposite of love is? Hate? No? Not at all. The opposite, the opposite of hate. Of Oh, yeah. Love and hate is the same emotion from a different perspective. What's the opposite? The opposite of love is indifference. Mm. When I don't give a fuck about you. Wow. Facts. When I don't care. When you mean nothing to me. People hate you. When they love you so much, they'd rather you argue with them. They'd rather you engage them in negative action just so they could feel something. Right. But when people don't give a fuck about you, when I don't care about you, that's the opposite of love, indifference. Wow. 100%. That's some real shit. Take that with you. Nah, no, for sure. That's why I say most of the shit where niggas have issues with me, it's not what they're telling you on camera. Right. It's something totally them. different. They love them. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even go as far as to say that they love me. I would say that it's something totally different that they're not telling you. And I have enough respect that we have, if we have a history together, fuck anybody I don't have a history with. Mm. We can go toe-to-toe. You say something about me on a record, I'm hitting back. But anybody that I have a respect for, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna do the same shit that you're doing. I'm gonna try and take the higher road. I'm gonna let you try and get that shit off. Has that ever been a situation where that aspired, where someone, you felt like someone came at you and you was like, I mean, let me relax. I won't. It happens all the fucking time. That's what I'm saying. It happens all. The, it, it's all towards what you just said, though. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it also happens in the same sense of what he said. The opposite of motherfucking love is indifference. Mm -hmm. So if you still got my name in your mouth and you still coming up with shit that we know that's not the real answer, mm -hmm. that's not indifference. That's a certain, that's a, that's a, 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 a it's, it's a section of love. It's, it's basically in the love category. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Man. Because guess what? I love these niggas, man. Pause. I love. I do. I, 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 I love, love them. Too, yeah. You know what I mean? I love my haters. The niggas that I be love them, me, I be like, why? Absolutely. Like I said, I pray for them. God. If that ain't love, I don't know what it is. No, I don't pray for my niggas, though. Oh, like, <laughs> you don't do that? Nah, fuck them. You got to. <laughs> I, don't pray. I don't pray for them. I be like, all right, maybe me and you ain't, ain't, ain't agree. But pray for them. <laughs> fuck them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nah, you're I'm, good. I'm hey, a different you're burger. Real. Nah, I'm a different good. burger. I'm a different. Listen, I love it. Yo, bro. but Shaka, Dale, chico. Thank you, man, so much, Aluda. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, man, because um, this is real, man. Hundred percent. This is beautiful, and I want y'all to know that this is your platform, Shaka. You can, you know, come over here, promote your yellow shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> No, anytime. Like, anytime. 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 No, no, Yellow no. shoelaces, let's no, go. No, because, you know, what's crazy about it is is so many people are traditional of how they start promoting things. And the thing about it is that's not what we are. We are just 
Us. Us. Just come over here, get your briefcase, have some fun. Let's have some. Let's just, let's just do what the fuck we got to do because this is now hip hop journalism. Um, I just seen Elliot Wilson. Oh, I seen just your eyes. <laughs> okay, but Elliot Wilson posted sexy red. No, no, no. What? Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, and then he said this is hip hop journalism, and he was a hater. It's one million percent. That was that was. Uh, I didn't see it, but I know Nicki Minaj's but album is that's dope, not, dope to me. Yeah, Fuck with it's it. dope to me, too. But the, the point is, that's not what we're doing. What we're doing is, we're saluting hip-hop. That's all we're this doing. Is what we, this, is what we, this, this is what we're about. Yeah. I don't know what everyone else is. It's only about saluting hip-hop. We're about saluting hip-hop, about continuing to make sure hip-hop goes to that fucking next level and Luda... Shaka, all you guys. Shout out to Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, we love you. Jeff, all you guys, bro. You are the definition of loyalty. You're the definition and of. And respect. You're the definition of <laughs> what started Follow. Follow us. is what ended. And not to say y'all's legacy is ended. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is so far, for y'all to still continue to be together. It's something that we all have to salute. Every man here. I seem to forget it. And y'all continue to be here? Uh-huh. And by the way, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I got a Bulgari lotion. My shit smell good. <laughs> On that note, nigga, what time is it right now? You gonna take a picture? picture. No, but what time is it for real?